Yo, what's going on? Oh, hey. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Sweet. I didn't think um, I ever would, but I, I'm glad that I am. I'm glad that I can finally hear you. Yeah, well, I decided that. I'm, I'm finally, uh, I finally decided, you know, I had fun playing with you, watching you squirm, watching you beg for this debate. And now that I've gotten that out of my system, I'm ready to go through with it. So, You mean you finally realize that nobody's watching your dumbass streams and you have nothing mm. else going on, so you'll finally do the debate so you can get a little clout for yourself? Which, by the way, you totally ruined it, dude. We could have been doing this on the kill stream in front of, like, way more people. You're such a dumbass. <laughs> Well, actually, I have to thank you because that billboard that you've been putting up on your stream nightly for me, you know, like with my name on it, I have to say, man, yeah. viewership has been great ever since you started doing that. So I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to shout you out. Thank you. Thank you, big guy. I mean, I mean, little guy, I want to thank you for that. Yesterday, dude, 34. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm doing my average, my average viewership has actually been doing very well. Thank you very much. And I'm actually... Considering considering the following, considering the following that you have versus me, um, you really don't do that much better than I do. Just want to throw that out there. You know, you act like you're high and mighty. You act like, oh, you have this huge, huge following. First off, you've been oh, doing this. Right. You've been doing this way, way longer than me, and your viewership kind of right. sucks. And it makes sense because your content kind of sucks. You know, most of your content is complaining. Of, most of your content is complaining about how you don't have content, how you have nothing to talk about. <laughs> Yeah, you know what it is? I can literally get away with that because I'm charismatic and entertaining. And um, no, 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 no. You can get away with that. Be yeah, 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 no, yeah. no, 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 no. You can get away with that because Nick has given you, for now, for some reason, Nick has given you his blessing, right? So because people view you as one of the AF generals, which, by the way, Nick called you that himself recently. I posted that on Telegram, so that can't be disputed. People, they watch your stream. People watch your stream when there's no other good AF content on. You're you're the guy who comes on oh, at a weird time. You're not going up against anybody oh, talented. Time, nightly every night. Right, but but nobody else is streaming at that. Nobody night. else is streaming at that point because like most like functional adults like they do you know new. Who, who else? Who who else? Who am I? Vincent James, Steve Franson, um, everybody, everybody else in the movement. Well, yeah, I don't want to stream at the same time as my friends. Right, because nobody would, because nobody would watch you, because nobody would watch you, because your content sucks. It's because your content sucks. No, no, no. It's, it's you're you're not a nice guy. You're you're not a nice guy. Okay. Um, we've already. No, you're not. You're actually not a nice guy to anybody, from what I've seen. Um, as you've already admitted, as you've already admitted, you're completely self-interested. Politics is a hobby for you. It's fashion. It's it's how it's how you attract an audience because. If we if we examine your life, like five six years, yeah. If if we examine your life and how you conduct yourself, what what is it about you that makes you America first, other than the fact that you say America first things from time to time? In what way are you actually an America first person? Uh, let's see. I'm funny. Uh, right. I, that doesn't mean anything. You're not that funny. Beliefs. I mean, I mean, you don't think so because you don't have a sense of humor because your taste fucking sucks. And why do you wear a ball cap inside your house? By the way, I gotta ask. Because I, that's my look. That's the look that I'm going for on stream. There's really no deeper reason than that. Is it not because your hairline sucks? No. That's, is that not what it is? No, I've, show, I've showed. Shit, dude. No, you haven't. And actually, if you have, let, yeah, let's see it. Because my hairline isn't shit. Um, I've put pictures out there before. It's not. Because I put pictures out there before. So you're trying. It's not. And if you have so proof. Why are you saying if you I see it? Because I've be seen it. Well, you're saying my hairline is shit. I'm obviously you haven't seen my hair before. But really, we're all right. So now we're debating my hairline. There we go. Good job, Beardson. You're you're killing it today. You're killing it today. Well, let's have a debate instead of. Yeah, you're the one that brought up this whole like viewership bullshit. So I'm just giving it back to you, you dumbass. No, actually, I believe you're the one yeah, who brought that up. up. You brought it up. Uh, we we can go back and check the tape later. God, you're a fucking idiot. Well, we'll, we'll we'll go back. Yeah, eh, we'll. Eh. Okay. Yeah. So all right. Fine. So. Let's get to what we're actually here for today, and that is the rap question, okay? So before we begin, um, I actually have an opener that I would like to start with. Do you have an opener? Yeah, no, you did a lot. No, I didn't prepare anything. You go ahead with all your debate prep. It took you three weeks to the, the, the pre uh, prep for this debate, so you go ahead and get what you prepped. Right, and right. I'll just and on to it. I, I, can't say, I can't say I'm surprised that you did no preparation since you're a lazy pile of shit. I don't need to. Probably. You're a retard. Well, yeah. we'll see about that. It's fucking blindfolded in death. Right. Well, well, we're about to find out. So before, here, here's what I'm going to do. This guy's doing debate prep like a pussy. Um, debate prep, no, it took me about 10 minutes this morning. It took me about 10 minutes this morning. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how long it would take you. 
I don't know how long it would take you. You'd have you'd have to you'd have to put down the Xbox controller. I don't know how long it would take you to do debate prep, but me took about 10, 15 minutes this morning. I woke up this morning and said, you know what? I don't I said, you know what? I don't really have that much plan for today. I don't really have that much plan for today's stream. So you know what? Fine, I'll throw this guy a bone. I feel bad for him. And we'll do the debate. I, I prepped for 10 minutes and where where you're about to hear the opener. Okay. So but before I do that. Before I do that, I'm going to mute you while I'm reading my opener because I know if I don't mute you, then I'm never going to get through it. After oh, my opener. I, I look, I'll give you Scott's honor. I will not interrupt you. I'm just going to mute you. I'm just going to mute you, okay? Once I get through my opener, I will not mute you for the rest of this debate, okay? Yeah, so I'm putting on. that out there. I'm going to mute you, do my opener, mute unmute you, and, you, and I will never mute you again. Mute me. Go ahead and mute me because I'm probably going to be laughing through half of this. Okay, story. great. Okay. See you in a few minutes. Okay, so Beerson is muted, and now I'm going to do my opener, and then I'm going to unmute him, and then I will never mute him again. All right. For those not familiar with what brings us here today, I not so long ago had a discussion with Beardson in which I successfully exposed him as a self-admitted opportunist driven only by material interests with no regard for the political movement that he represents. This is why he made the beyond foolish decision to work with enemy documentarian Louis Thoreau of the BBC against the wishes of Nick Fuentes, keep in mind. He has repeatedly claimed he's not a political person and has, quote, nothing to do with America first. Yet, here he is once again entertaining a political debate in defense of America first. Why does he fence it like this? The reality is, he denies this association that anyone could see by convenience because he enjoys cashing in on the America First brand without ever actually having to pull his own weight. Moving along to our current discussion, my argument boils down to two points. One a question, the other a statement. The first question I will ask Beerson tonight is, do you agree or disagree with the following statement? And that is that we should give as little money as possible to our political opponents. If he answers in the affirmative, then there is nothing to debate because we agree. If he disagrees, then I'm very curious to know why. My next point relates to the values promoted by rap music. The negative values promoted by rap music include, but are not limited to, drug abuse, sexual degeneracy, violent criminal behavior, materialism, rejection of authority, and anti-whiteness. In other words, the values promoted by rap music stand in polar opposition to the values promoted by America First. Should we, as a paleoconservative political movement, which stresses traditionalism and Christian morality, promote the consumption of art or anything else that runs contrary to our values? Beardson will inevitably resort to whataboutism because it is impossible for him to address my argument head on. When he does this, I will ask him to remain focused to the topic at hand, which I hope he is capable of. Staying on topic, however, is not where Beardson shines. Beardson does best when he's calling his opponent a, an F slur or some other slur because he lacks the mental capability to do anything other than this. When this inevitably happens, the Beard Sims will cheer, but anyone listening to the merits of our discussion will understand who's truly winning. The last point I'd like to touch on is why I've singled out rap music over other genres of music. No, it's not because as my fellow right winger here pathetically suggests because I hate black people and seeing them makes me mad. As far as musical genres go, rap music is by and far away the greatest violation of our values. Combine that with the fact it's consumed by a large portion of those in the America First movement, the result is a development that is antithetical to our cause and escapes me. With all of that being said, Beardson, do you agree or disagree that we should give our political opposition as little of our money as possible? And he's unmuted. He can answer that question now. Uh, you're muted. Got to unmute yourself. Uh, yeah, really great opener. It was really fantastic. I had a lot Thank you, man. I think I covered all the points. Yeah, it was really, it was really great. Um, oh, so too. Glad you liked it. So, so your question is, should we give our money 
to our political opponents or whatever. Right. Is that, is, that, is that what I'm getting at here? Well, here's my argument is that it's not as black and white as you seem to make it out to be. Like, what? At, at, to what extent are we going to de derail our lives and how much time and effort are we going to spend to make sure that not a single dime uh, goes to our political opponents? I mean, I'm not sure about you. I don't, I don't give money to rappers when I listen to their music. I'm not sure you know how like any of this works with like the internet and everything. Well, okay, okay. So let, let me respond to that. I'm not, so I'm not, I'm not buying rap albums. Right. So so what do you do? How, how do you hear these songs? What are you using? YouTube, Spotify. Yeah, usually Spotify. Right. Okay. So you're paying for Spotify. So right off the bat, yes, you are contributing money to the music industry. But on top of that, let's say you were using a free alternative, since I'm sure some of the viewers right now are saying, "Oh, well, I don't use Spotify. I don't use Pandora. Many, you know, Apple Music." title there's there's many many music services out there that i'm sure most groupers right now are probably paying for that they shouldn't be but right. even but even if they're using a free service the way the music industry works right now is you go to youtube you listen to a song your your view your listen in isolation doesn't do anything but if you do that and i do that and millions of people start doing that and a song gets a lot of views, then the song becomes popular, then the artist becomes popular. When the artist becomes popular, now they could go on tour, now they could sell merchandise, now they can, most importantly to us, they can begin promoting political propaganda that goes against our cause with their platform, with their with their megaphone, which is what they do. I mean, I, I have a ton of I have a ton of uh, links here, even Kanye West, who's supposed to be based and red pilled. He was donating two million dollars to to a college fund for George Floyd's daughter, and he's supposed to be one of the better ones. Can we can we move, can you get on? Could you get your point here? I got. To, I said my point. My point is whether you, first off you're paying. First off, first off you're paying for it, so you are literally giving first them off, your money. Blah, 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 Secondly, blah, blah, blah. no, I'm not. Well, you I'm literally are. Qualified. Right. So you so you literally ten bucks a month. To yeah. Music. So you and millions of other idiots. What if I, so what if I, what if I, so how am I supposed to listen to music then? Because you, you have a playlist on YouTube, right? You have a, you listen to music on YouTube. YouTube fucking hates us too. So what, right, so what but, are we supposed to do? How are we supposed to consume music or listen to music? Well, so what we're discussing here. Is there a right wing music service that I don't know about? I, I think the preferred way is to do it in a way that contributes as little financial compensation to the music industry as possible. Spotify certainly isn't the way to, Spotify is the way they want you most to be paying for music because if you don't pay for Spotify, hey, who's they? Who's they? okay, okay, big, you know what I'm saying, man. You want, no, you, I'm, I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm, no I'm, you're trying to get cute. You're, who's you're they? trying to no, get cute. You, you, who are they? Uh, the, the music industry, the, the music industry, okay. the, 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 the Sony, the, are, the, are you, because I, you're, you're trying to be, you're, no, you're trying to be cute because, because, no, you're not. You're trying to be cute. Now you're playing, now you're feigning ignorance. I know exactly. I know, no, 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 no. Stop. Okay. You're feigning ignorance. You're feigning ignorance because you routinely, you, you routinely, you routinely tell your audience that I am a wig nat. You routinely tell your audience that I'm a wig nat. So when I said they, you were trying to be cute. And you're like, who are they? Okay. Um, music industry executives. I, I I thought it was like self-explanatory. I didn't know I, I needed to explain a detail like that. Okay. It's all all I needed was a simple answer. Not you. Yeah. Whatever. You're 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 you're, you're this this is a little this is a little skit you're doing here. I'm I'm way ahead of you on it. You're now you're trying to walk it back. Be, you're trying to walk it back. You're trying to walk it back. I asked you a question and you spurred out. Okay. Um, because, I, because I know exact, cause for some reason, I don't know what it is. I, I, you know, if you were a leftist, I would expect to be called a racist. I would expect to be called a neo-Nazi, but the fact that you're, uh, supposedly conservative, you're supposedly America first and you would dare. I thought we were talking about rap music here. I'm trying to talk about rap music here. I'm trying like, can you stick to the topic at hand, well, please? Well, I, I am actually, because you just tried to, in a, in a cute little way, you just tried to imply that I was. No, you just tried to imply in a cute little way that I was okay. Okay, you're you're full of shit. I don't believe you. You're full of shit. I don't believe you. But we'll move on. Can we move on? Sure. So when it comes to so you're saying how do they get my money? Well, first off, you're paying for Spotify along with millions and millions of other individuals. So I get to finish my point because you keep interrupting. Can I can I get some? I thought you did, but go ahead. Are you going to talk a fucking mile a minute? I thought you did, but go ahead. Jeez, Louise. So. 
I'm asking what's the preferred way to play music because you use YouTube and apparently Spotify is bad, right? Okay, Spotify I got your answer. Spotify. So the preferred uh, way is... No, 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 no. I'm Can not I answer to... the question? I, like, you said, what's the preferred way? Can I answer that question first? No, I'm... no you can't. I'm, done. I'm not done talking. Okay, it sounded like that was so, a complete thought, but... You okay. You talked for like 10 minutes and you haven't made a single point here. Can I at least uh, contribute to this debate? So Go ahead. I'm trying to be nice and not interrupt you. But Go ahead. It's pretty apparent to me I'm going to have to. Uh, so we're not allowed to use Spotify, right? Like that's that's gone and we're not allowed to use Spotify. But YouTube's fine even though they, you know, I don't know, deplatform everybody. Like that's somehow okay. I never said YouTube was fine. Yeah. First off, I never said YouTube was fine. I, you're, you're putting words in my mouth. Probably makes more from your plays on YouTube than they do on Spotify because on Spotify they make like what a penny every thousand plays right okay that so that's I that I don't I don't know you don't know that you don't know that that's conjecture you don't know that do you and neither do you and neither do you so so, so then you shouldn't assert it as truth you should not assert it as truth if you don't know what you're talking about was the point I was making and the reason why well, I was the reason the that you don't know wait 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 so your your argument is you're, you're not that's but you're that's what I am so you respond with speculation of your own Yes, to it, highlight your speculation, dumbass. It's not, it's not speculation. Wait, wait, wait. You're telling me, you're telling me that YouTube makes more money from an, from a customer that isn't subscribed on a monthly basis than Spotify makes from a monthly sub that, that really? Then why does YouTube offer a service called YouTube Red where where they charge you to remove the ads, they charge you for other uh, uh, perks and features. There's a reason why they do that because they make infinitely more money if you pay versus if you don't pay and they, they show you pay, and they- And that's what I'm saying. And that's what I'm saying, they pay. They they have a subscription service the same that Spotify does. And I'm, okay. sure, if compare, I'm sure if you were to compare the subscription numbers, they'd be very similar. You wanna know why? Because a lot of people use YouTube more than they use Spotify. That's what I'm saying. This is what like, what point are you responding to? I'm totally I'm, argument to make about what what you're responding to an argument. I'm not even made. What are you saying? I'm totally lost right now. What do you did? I never said YouTube was better than Spotify. You made this up. You're responding to an argument that you yourself created. You I didn't say that. I did not say that. I, I, well, you know what? We'll glaze right over it. So how am I supposed to listen to music then? And, you know, and because the, the whole, the her, first part, I guess, of this debate is going to be about supporting our enemies financially or whatever. So. How right. So you're asking, you're asking what's, what's an alternative that we can use? Well, I think you're right. There is no way, whether it's music, whether it's, whether it's any art form, any business, any company, there's no way for us to fully 100% detach from the system. And I get that. And I've never, I've never called for it. Right. Like I, I have, I have an iPhone. I, I, I Spotify was the worst way. You did say that. What, what I meant. Okay. So to specify what I meant when I said that is if you are paying for a monthly subscription service, whether it's Spotify, whether it's Apple Music, whether it's Tidal, whether it's YouTube, giving the music industry your money on a monthly basis is worse in comparison to listening to a song for free on YouTube. That was the point that I was making. I, I, wasn't, I wasn't saying Spotify is the worst music service of all music services. I just meant the monthly recurring payments. That's the worst thing you could do. And I want I want to respond to your before I disagree, before I disagree because no, no let, me, let me address this I disagree because I don't want to listen to ads about gay marriage I don't want to listen to I don't want to see ads uh, that promote come on man that's a really shit value. that's that no that's a totally valid argument no it's not a valid argument because what because that that's not a valid They're argument awful. you're arguing against your own point here because the thing is is by what you're saying is you're willing to pay so that you don't have to be subjected to leftist propaganda, but by paying what you're doing in the long term is subjecting yourself to more leftist propaganda by giving them an, an increased. So there's no, there's no winning in this situation. No, there is there's no winning. Well, if you would let me respond here, there is, there is a way Go to ahead, respond. There is a way to minimize the way we can minimize is we have to look at all of the options that are before us and say, okay, we cannot completely escape the system, but what can we do to minimize? How can we best minimize the the contribution that we're making to these people that hate us? So if you're faced with two options, pay $10 a month to Spotify or whoever else that goes directly to the music industry, which goes directly to the artists that you listen to, which enriches them, Spotify which doesn't go directly to the music industry, by the way, like a lot of that goes just straight to Spotify. Oh, that's how that works. They, you oh, think okay, they man. That, any of that money, oh, like, 
obviously they do, bro. I mean, come on, do I have to like spell out? I, I thought 100 percent flesh out the. I, I thought I thought that was just a given. I I, I obviously 100 percent of well, the but money. That's what you said, but that's what you said. I was just clarifying for the audience. I don't think anybody in the audience needed clarification, but okay, nice, nice one, beer. You finally got a you, you finally got a point in on me. Well done. There you okay, okay. You wanna you wanna do the semantics thing? Okay, fine. We could do that. That that's what that's what you need to resort to because you're never gonna like the thing is is you're not going to. I'm, I'm sur I really am surprised that you wanted. I really am surprised you wanted this conversation so much because like I, I don't I don't get how you think. I don't get how you think the position. It's going to be me correcting you on something and then you going on a defensive rant for fucking 10 minutes. Then this isn't going to be a debate. And you look fucking pathetic. Move no, on. you look pathetic because you, you, you want to play these semantic tricks. How about we focus on just correcting you, dumbass? You misspoke and I correct. I did not misspeak. You, you misinterpreted, you, you misinterpreted my language because obvious, obviously Spotify, obviously I'm not going to, no, no, no. Spotify is obviously a for-profit business. Obviously, to to to. Yes, I already said that. So we. I. Move on. You're just repeating what I just said. You're. This is so bad faith, man. This is really like. No, if it, this is the best you can do, this is actually pathetic. You, you clarified something that needed no clarification because you can't make any actual. You can't make any actual counterpoints to what I'm saying. It was incorrect. It was incorrect. No, it wasn't incorrect. Anybody he with a brain cell watching the stream right now. Okay, man. Okay. Said, no, it doesn't. Okay. The point so I was that's making. Not, that's just not true. I didn't say. Once again, you're responding to a point that I'm not making because that's what you have to do Please because. Move on. It's and now you want to move on. Of course you want to. Okay. So. I'm, the I'm trying to move on from your mistake. I'm trying to be generous to you. I didn't make a mistake. I did not make a mistake. No, you're trying to cling on to this. You're trying. You're not going to get any actual points against me. You're the one that's wanting to stay on this. Okay, so you're asking me what are the options that we have. The options that we have, like I just explained, you could pay a monthly subscription fee for a service in which part, a portion, I don't know the exact percentage, do I need to look it up? Some percentage of your monthly fee goes to the music industry. Is that how I need to speak for the rest of this debate? Or can we just like... like you need to speak correctly. Yes, you need to speak. Okay, okay. Everybody, everybody but you, everybody but you understood what I meant when I said that. But No, I understood it. The music industry, bottom line, music industry gets more money from us as a collective and an, and an individual when you're paying for a service. This is this is indisputable. If if we have to, we can look it up, but I but I'm pretty Yeah, look it up. Look, I would love to know. I would I would legitimately I think that I think that's an interesting question cuz you I don't think it is, but I'll look it up, sure. I think you'd say yeah, I would love to know. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to google this. Does Spotify make more money off of free customers or paying customers? That's what you want me to look up? Yeah, I would I mean I'm just Come on, bro. I have to look this up. I, you You're going to make me do that. Do or, you know, what you could do is like, you don't have to look it up and you can just stop stating as a fact that, you know, because you don't know that. I, it's obvious. <laughs> what? Uh, it's, it's like, obvious? how do you know that? I mean, honestly, are you no clarification? This is, you this is, no I would, I would, I would abandon this immediately because this is yeah. actual, I'm, yeah. I'm letting you know, you're it's actually stupid. totally. It's a, dumb argument. it's a dumb argument to have anyways. It's stupid. Because again, we're sitting here de like debating the validity of what streaming service these. Like th this is what I'm talking about. This this whole thing is so asinine. Like this, this is how you want to. It's not like researching which which streaming. I don't need to research I it. You don't need to research it. It's out there. My money goes to my enemies versus no. My, it, like, it, this is like a waste of your life. That's no. What I'm saying. And that's kind of really my point here is that you would much rather spend all of this time. What time am I spending? All I'm doing is as a streamer, I. Fucking 20 minutes talking about this already. Well, because I think it's an important discussion for us to have. You know, we're we're a part of this political movement. We have we have goals, we have objectives, we have ideas. and dimes at best. Like even if every no, you're wrong, man. Every America first or would have canceled their Spotify subscription. Guess what? Spotify will be okay. It doesn't matter. And and this is where I disagree, actually, because it it does make it. Well, well, let me respond. Let me respond. Um. So first off, if your principles are truly your principles, you follow through on them regardless of what other people are doing and what the end result is going to be, right? So so what you're saying is I'm going to act against my values because acting with my values wouldn't make a difference. So I, I think that this makes you I'm a let name, name, 
Name one right wing boycott that's ever worked ever. Name one. Um, I I know that Gillette they took a big hit after they they ran that uh, ad campaign calling men you know rapists and and uh, sexual abusers. Um, I I know that this that's is not really a right wing thing. That's it was it was no no because because no, who. I think calling all men rapists and sexual abusers goes a little bit beyond right wing. No, be, no, no, it doesn't actually. It doesn't because it's only right wing people that are like, of course, man. And, it's, and also like, I mean, to contribute that entire thing to just that ad campaign versus all of the other, you know, the shade dollar shave club and all of the other competitors that have propped up is a little disingenuous. Well, no, be, no, no, because no, because you the, think, the, you don't think that all these competitors that propped up like that. Sprout no, up they, they were, they were, they were already around. They were already, they were already around and the drop in business was so significant that it could only be explained by the ostracization of the customer base. So, but, but I mean, do I have like, I mean, I'm like, not, I'm not disagreeing with you that, that that was terrible. And then I'm sure a lot of people stopped using Gillette for it. Sure. Absolutely. But I didn't see a single right wing campaign boycotting any of that either i didn't see anybody on the right wing lobbying to, to have a massive boycott. No, there there was you you had you had like your paul joseph watson's you had like all of like you know these con inc and whatever other such conservative guess, accounts they're still they're still like the number one supplier i mean the, the, so they're still around i can still go to the store and buy gillette like it's not going what should you and guess what they're still no, I'm not going. I mean, I don't shave, dude. My name's Beards and Beardly. I'm not sure. Right, but I'm but I'm saying, but I'm saying, should you should you purchase a product from somebody who doesn't like you is the question here. I mean, it depends, man. It just depends. Like, honestly, there's a lot of situations where we don't have much of a choice. That's what I'm trying to point out. But I'm not gonna spend my entire life researching who hates me and who likes me. I spend no time researching this stuff. As somebody who's politically active, I read the news and I find out, okay, this company hates me. This company is neutral. So this com spend, you're, that's, that's you spend time researching though. That's, that's, I don't know what, but I'm not, you live in where you can just read stuff for free with no, no time spent whatsoever. It, I mean, if you're anybody, like, any, if, if, anybody who's political if, understands if, which companies are friendly and which are enemies. For example, we know that Coca-Cola is hostile to us. We know Delta is hostile to us. We know Netflix is hostile to us. We know that Spotify, we know. So, say, for instance, Delta, right? Like, yeah. so what if Delta is the only airline I can fly? Like, and you don't... the only airline that's available to me. So do, so do I just need to not fly to drive everywhere? No, I never made that argument. The thing is, you're strawmanning me. That was never my position. No, I'm, my... Straw... I'm asking a legitimate question here. Like, I just want to know. I, I don't really know where you land on these sorts of things. And I'm just asking a legitimate question. I'm not, I promise you, I'm not trying to strawman you. I'm, I'm trying to find out more about your position here. Where I land is, like I said, with the YouTube versus Spotify thing, yeah, there's, there's no way you're going to completely circumvent the music industry in some way or another. They're going to benefit from your consumption of their product, but you have to work with, you know, the cards that you've been dealt. So um, if you go to the airport or, or if you're booking a trip and the only option that's available is Delta Airlines, then I mean, yeah, of course, the sensical thing to do would be to, to book that trip with that airline. But if you have multiple options, you have Delta, and then you have Spirit, and then you have whatever, American Airlines, right? And two of them, you know, like recently in the news, have been explicitly uh, anti-conservative, and one hasn't, then what, wouldn't the reasonable thing for us to do as a political movement be to say, hey, guys, you know, fuck these two airliners, and let's all, as, as a collective, give our financial support to this other company instead? Okay, so another argument though. What if, for instance, they have Delta and they have Spirit? Spirit Airlines fucking sucks though. Like terrible flights and everything. Do I inconvenience myself? I, yeah, man, of course. You know, so I'm supposed to like really inconvenience myself to like a deliberate degree. Because yeah, man. Yes, because if we want to this win, openly hates me, and this company doesn't openly hate me. They quietly hate me. Like you know, like that's. There is a difference there. There is a difference there is because there, if a, if a, yeah, because really, they both hate me. Probably and yes. Airlines, like, you, yeah, I mean, they, let's be real. They both hate you. Yes, probably. But they if one, if one company is there. actively taking your money and, and producing uh, political propaganda against us with it, then once, once again, you have to, you have to look at the options that you face. Okay. Delta, they explicitly so should, don't. I, so what you're saying is I should live a horrible life where I'm I, like inconvenienced at every junction just so a company 
does it make eighty dollars or a hundred dollars off of me? That's what you're saying here. We're going to have to we're going to have to deal with some level of discomfort if we want to overcome the the political challenges that we face. So when you say uh, like, oh, this would be a major inconvenience, really, like like how how uh, uh, significantly will the quality of your life diminish if you had to ride if you had to uh, board Spirit Airlines versus Delta? I mean, is it really like that big of a difference? What is, what is your back going to get a little bit sore? Spirit does suck. Everybody knows it. But like still, yeah, it's terrible, dude. It, it yeah, is. I'm not going to debate you over that. We agree. Yeah, I, I, I'm not flying Spirit if I don't have to. Like if, if there's a Delta airline available, I'm, I'm flying that because it's like it's more comfortable. It's faster. It's, it's not save me time. It's faster. You think the plane goes faster? Do you know what a layover is, dumbass? <laughs> Okay, I, you I, know, didn't know, you know I didn't know you were. I didn't. I didn't know that's what you were going for. And all that stuff. Uh, well, yeah. well, I, I've flown Spirit before, and and I've never had a layover. But okay, I, I understand what you're saying there. Yeah, that's that's what I'm getting at there. I mean, they they literally do also have like better planes too that do fly faster. They, that that is a legitimate. Mm -hmm. legitimate thing. You don't think you don't think that they're planes and work you think every 747 is the exact same specification i'm pretty sure actually yes isn't isn't a 747 a specific no. boeing <laughs> i i don't know i'm not a, i'm not an airplane no, expert but i'm pretty sure there's only one 747 planes. no they're not all the same planes i promise you and i'm not even trying to be glib or smart with you they're not they're yeah the, the boeing 747 is a specific airplane i'm looking at it right now so the boeing 747 well, yeah, is a large the long range 747 is but there, is there other 747s Yes. I mean, there's different planes in general that you fly on. It's not, you don't fly on every 747. Like there's, there's different models. I cannot believe I'm having to explain this to you. Have you, have you ever been on more than one plane? They're all different. Uh, I know that planes are different, but I, I, I thought like, if you say 747, that was, that was referring to a Boeing 747 naming, airplane. I was just naming like an example, right? Like there's, there's different models of planes and everything that different airlines have. Okay. Well, we we are we are super. Do I need to explain to you first class? And all no, we're we're getting we're getting lost in the weeds now. Let's 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 bring it back to the actual discussion at hand. Um, the point that I'm making ultimately here is you have to look at the options that are presented to you and then make the best choice. Say, okay, which option is going to um, best divest in those that hate me? Which I which I think, by the way, you agree that we should divest as much money as possible it, with businesses that. Hey, us like don't don't you agree with this basic point that I'm making? It's not a basic point though, because you're you're just saying it as if it's some black and white statement, and it's not. I know it's not black and white. I know that we can't fully right. detach, so but you're wanting, you're wanting but games, you're wanting you need to do the best that you can. Is all I'm saying. It's not that simple. You have to do the best that you can. And let me okay, so let me move us ahead from this right, point. So, so when it comes to pit vipers, no, no, as an me, example, let me, let me, okay, you no, want to no, get no, a point me, and get it in. Yeah, I mean, I think I have a chance to respond here. That's fine. It's yeah. How much time are you, and how much are you willing to inconvenience yourself and make your and, and lower your quality of life, and how much are you willing to spend time researching all of this stupid stuff? Because at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't really matter if you stop supporting one company, and even if you're not, you know, and I, I assume that you're not calling for national boycotts because from what you said earlier it was like just you personally then it's it's really not going to matter in the slightest right it's your your money means absolutely nothing so why should you bother inconveniencing yourself and making your quality of life lower okay well when you when you say when you say you're making when when you, you first off you sound like you sound incredibly nihilistic when you say what difference does it make um i i think that we should believe that all of our actions together realistic or not, it's realistic I'm i i realistic. i really i really don't think it's i believe in god and jesus christ but you don't believe in doing what's right you don't believe in living out your according to, who? According to you according no to you? according according to you supposedly i mean are you a paleo conservative you support no, america first i never said that so you're not a paleo conservative. You don't. I'm sorry, RPG, but you don't get to define my own personal beliefs and then try to hold me to them. That's not how that's that works. So, so you what are what are where do you stand politically? You multiple times, you don't know where I stand politically or whatever, and then and then you turn around and try to ascribe all these political beliefs to me or whatever. Where do you stand I politically? You're not a paleo. So you're not a conservative. 
Yeah, I'm a conservative. I mean, it depends on what issues. I, I, you know, I, I support. Generally speaking, are you conservative? I, I, I just assume because you, you support because because you're one of the AF generals. I mean, I, I thought it was probably a basic requirement that the AF generals had to be, you know, like like aligned with the AF movement itself. But maybe, but maybe that's that's not one of the requirements. This I. This is really bad faith. This is really bad faith here. I don't think it is because I assume that you, I assume that you were I, assuming a lot of things about me when you have me right here and you could just ask. Me. Well, that's a logical assumption. I think when, when you are one of the most like prominent it's figures, with, it, it is, it is because America first is a paleo. Can I finish a fucking sentence? America first is a paleo conservative political movement. America versus a paleo conservative political movement, and you're saying that you're not paleo conservative. Sorry for making like like the you know that that would be like me saying like somebody in Antifa. I I oh you assumed I was a communist. I'm not a communist. I'm actually a libertarian. Like yeah, I'm making like the most logical assumption one could possibly make. So to to. No. Because what you're doing, though, is you're ascribing this belief that everybody in America first just hates a bad thing or whatever. But, like, you can't even really define what it is. You just say our enemies, our enemies, our enemies. And it's a very broad and general term here. Well, I think I think our enemies, when I say our enemies, I'm referring to our political enemies. I'm referring to anybody that is working in uh, direct opposition to our political objectives as a collective. Let me use pit vipers as an example, right? When it comes to pit vipers, how how uh, uh, um, deeply is the quality of your life impacted if you purchased some other pair of glasses versus pit vipers? I would say not at all. Huh? I don't, I don't wear sunglasses at all, so, I mean... Okay, but, like, if you had to buy, like, like one of the 7,000 other brands versus Pit Vipers, isn't this something that you could very... Like, isn't that a sacrifice, quote-unquote, that you could, you could very easily make to the benefit of the movement? Like, do you think that as a political collective, we should be using our collective buying power to enrich... And, and, and publicize and promote this small business that actively is tweeting against us, calling Nick a racist, calling Baked Alaska an extremist. Like, I, I don't understand why, as a political movement, I think that Nick, and I have, I have a huge amount of respect for Nick, so this is not me, you know, getting ahead of myself here, but if I was in Nick's position, I would be telling my 100,000 followers, hey guys, and a lot sooner than he did, because I know just a few days ago, now, now he finally uh, came around on it. But from the get-go, I mean, think about how many how many sales Nick wearing those glasses contributed towards Pit Vipers as a company. And now what are they doing? They're taking our money and they're donating it to the SPLC. So it's like... Yeah, it sucks. I don't support that. I mean, I don't know why you're assuming that I do. No, I'm, I'm not saying that you support that. But what I'm saying is we gave people who hate us our money, and then they did what people who hate us do with our money when we give it to them. Therefore, we should not all as a collective, as Goyper say, yo, get pit vipers. Oh, man, I'm cool because I have pit vipers. Like, I, I think what we should be doing instead is saying... Let's all not buy Pit Vipers because they're a small company. Um, every sale does matter with a company that's small. They have like they have like twelve thousand followers on Twitter, and that's probably like fifty percent Groypers. So you're talking about like how much? How much was it that they donated? I think it was like a pretty small number. If I they they did donate a small amount, but but it right. doesn't even so, it doesn't. So you're talking. You, you just said that Nick gave them all this money, and it was like it wasn't that much. So you just kind of contradicted yourself. No, I didn't because I I mean I don't have. You you, you no, I didn't. Said, you no, said that. Yeah, you no, said, no. You just said Nick, Nick sent all these sales to Pit Vipers, and then they donated all this money to the SPLC. No, 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 no. That's not what I was saying. Not, not Nick individually, said, but though. Nick, Nick. You did say that. That's what. Bro, said. okay, okay. Get over yourself, Nick and the Groypers. No, that's what you said. I'm holding you to what you said. I. That's not what I said. Once again, I think you're just having a hard time following the points that I'm making the here. Paper. You said Nick wearing those pit vipers sent all those people to buy pit vipers, and then they donated right. all that money to the SPLC. No, I, I. No, 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 no. It wasn't a lot of money at all. No. Okay. Okay, so we're we're conflating different points here. I, I understand your confusion. Maybe no, maybe I, I could have been more clear. What you said to task, and it's incorrect. I did not. Okay. Well, okay. 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 I'll I'll, I'll embell. You want to rewind the tape? We can rewind the stream if you want to hear yourself. Say I that will. Again. I mean, this is what you said. I will elaborate for you. Okay. What I did not mean to say you that elaborate. you can't elaborate on something that's just factually incorrect. I did not say 
that Pit Vipers took every single penny from every single sale of every single groiper in the movement and contributed every last dollar to the SPLC. Okay, so if that's what you thought I was saying, then that's not what I was saying. And I'm okay, man. I mean, like. Uh, these these are the haymakers. These these are these are like your your no, go off no, moments. No, these are not my haymakers. This is just what you said. Okay, man. I'll give this point to you since I can see how important okay. that is. Congratulations. You could throw another point you know, up like, onto the scoreboard not here. Attitude when you are wrong. Like I no, you're 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 just you're just you you're, so you you you're so desperate. You're so desperate to score. You're so desperate to score a point against me that you're making these. Attitude about it. I'm, I have a condescending like attitude towards you. you. You're just oh, you're not, aggressive. and you're not a prick, really. No, I, I am aggressive towards you. I think you're a big fucking pussy and a retard. Well, I don't, I don't know. Like oh, okay. I don't know because okay. I'll concede this point to you, I guess, even though blah blah blah. Well, like, I'm pretty. I'm. You know, it's funny. It's it's funny because you call me retarded, but I'm pretty sure you're the one getting totally handled right now. And I can't wait for all the gro. I can't wait for everybody, in America first, to watch the replay here and see and see. I I can't wait. I cannot wait for the replay to be seen by all the groipers. And I can't wait for them to see this relative nobody take down one of the AF grades. This is this is gonna be great for me, man. So I, I wanna I wanna get a fucking single point right. I've been doing pretty good, man. I've been doing and that's that's why you're getting mad. That's that's why you're seething. That's why you're that, that see you're you're seething right now because you you know you're getting handled. You know you're getting handled, which is why you're having a meltdown. Hey, RPG, how does it feel just coping live on stream? Now, I'm going to do what you do. Guys, I'm winning this debate so hard. I'm winning, I'm winning, I'm winning. Guys, but you're not. If I say I'm winning over and over, then maybe it'll look like I'm winning. But you're not. But you're not. And and, and nobody... I'm, winning. I'm clearly winning this. You've gotten so many fucking things wrong in this debate, it's laughable. Um, you tried to you tried to argue that Spotify makes more money off of their free customers than their paying customers. That's something that you actually said tonight, so... Yes. I don't, I don't, I, get, I guarantee you, I guarantee you, no. there are more people that use the free version of Spotify no. than there are paid. Yeah, yeah. I, I guarantee you that too. Yeah, I, oh, yes, that doesn't, that doesn't, that doesn't prove the point though. You can't prove the point because you don't, yes, know. I can. Answer. Yes, I can. Prove it. You don't okay, know. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. No, I'll, I'll do it fine. If you're gonna actually, if you're going to, to go back to a point that was at the beginning of the debate, so you can maybe score one win, maybe. No, like this is. This was 15 minutes ago, dude. You want to bring it back up? We still haven't even talked about rap music yet. We'll get there. You are so pathetic. You're okay, so, so pathetic that you had to go back right. To the absolute beginning of the debate to maybe cling on to a single point that maybe um, you might win. Right. You're okay. So pathetic. Okay. I'm. I'm gonna. Do I have to mute you? Can I read this article here, or will you let me speak? Uh, no, you said you weren't going to mute me. I did say that, but I, but I, I have the fact but, check but, here. But, you wanted the facts. Losing, but you're losing. No, floundering. Pearson, so you're have to resort to fucking muting me, right? Listen to how angry you are right now. Do you think that you're beating me? Dude, I'm, si I'm sitting here smiling, baby. I'm having a it doesn't, blast. I'm sorry, it doesn't sound like you're smiling. It sounds like you're having like an emotional breakdown dude, on stream. stream. I'm totally right calm. Dude, you're melting right down because. Dumbass. You're melting oh, down because melting you down. know that once again, I'm making you look like an idiot. I'm making you look like an idiot once again, like I did the first time. This is round two, baby, and I'm doing it again. I feel I feel so good right now. Anything again? You've never done anything the first time, dude. Okay, well let me. You want it? get to the point. You wanted the fact check. rap music. Yeah, fact check me. I'd love to see it. I'd Here it comes. Wrong. Okay, so how Spotify hey, makes hey, money. By the way, can I read? And by the way, can I read? Go ahead, read how Spotify way. makes money. Spotify's yeah. premium Spotify's premium service generates the largest share of its total revenue. Oh my god, I can't believe this. Wow. Okay, let me let me continue because I don't know if that's enough for you just yet. So I'll I'll continue with the article. Spotify is an audio streaming subscription service. Did you know that? They're they're legally they're legally domiciled in Luxembourg, okay? That's good to know. But whose operational headquarters is located in Stockholm, Sweden? I'm going to skip. Hopefully, I can skip past these details. Is that, is that okay with you? Can, can, I, can I skip past these details? Yeah, I, I do something. Yes, I do something, unlike you. I, I do something during my stream. Do you guys want to see... Do you guys want to see a Beerson stream? This is what a Beardson stream looks like. 
Guys, it's been 10 minutes. Where's my next donation? Come on, let's go, guys. Let's go. Come on, guys. The bills aren't going to pay themselves. Let's go. That's your stream. You do literally nothing, and you, you, you try to shit on me for doing something conducive and productive for the movement. You do nothing at all. All you do is complain that you're not getting donations. You complain that it's been. You complain. How how many times per stream? How many times per stream do you beg for donations? You realize how pathetic that is, man. When you're constantly reminding your audience to donate to you, you really like. Do you have any shame at all? Do you have any shame at all? Have you ever? Have you ever seen Nick ask for a donation? If something works. Have you ever? In how many years? Four or five years? Have you ever once seen Nick beg or even ask for a donation? Why would I care? It works. Uh, because it's called having integrity. It's called having uh, some honor. I exactly, bro. You think you, th that's yeah, exactly, exactly what I? That's exactly the point that I'm making when it comes to you. That's exactly why I've if come I'm after you. That's a, that's exactly not, why I've been. If I'm not, dude, here's the thing: if you want something in life, never be afraid to ask for it. That's what I was always taught. Why would I? Why would I be ashamed to ask for money when I'm making content? Why should I be? Why should I be ashamed? If it because it's if pathetic? I say, hey, guys, I need 50. Why is it pathetic? I'm making money. I'm paying my bills. I, I pay for fucking everything. I pay for my fucking house. I, I just think it's better money. optics to like, I, I think it's better optics to um, receive. Your optics. your optics fucking suck. I don't want to hear about your fucking optics. I don't know if my optics suck though, me. especially compared to you. I don't know if my optics suck. They I like, like They suck. I, I don't know if you're the person who, who can uh, make make a uh, level of claim like that against me. Matter. If you're good at something, you, I, you never do it for free. Why would I? I don't stream for free. I, I thankfully get donations from my viewers. I've never once asked for a donation. And when I get a donation, it feels you much better. Do you have a job? Right now, I do it for a living. You, you do stream for a living? Right now, I do. Yes, I, I used to work as a software engineer, and I, and I was basically fired from my job because... Um, their, the, the company went, you know, full SJW after George Floyd died and they started posting all this anti-white, um, propaganda on the internal life story. I was just asking a simple question. Oh, I'm just, I'm just letting you know what my background is because like, unlike, unlike you, I actually have like talent, skill, ability. Is this, is this you? I'm actually, is this I'm actually you? capable. Guys, the company I worked no. For was this, like, this is even more pathetic. Like, no, what you're doing. I, I'm just honest about it. At least I'm um, honest. I'm just like, hey guys, I need 50 bucks. Yeah, you you honestly are pathetic. Anyway, getting back to this article here, Spotify, how they make their money. Guys, I got fired from my job. You know what? I've never been fired from a job ever. I've never been fired. Yeah, I got fired from my job. Not you know not. What, you know yeah, you not know for my work ability. I got job. no action. No, I got fired. I got fired from my job because I was. I got fired. I got fired from my job because I was brave enough to actually say something in a hostile environment. Unlike you. So you, unlike you, first, you've so you, fucking, you fucking Patrick Little on your job and started trying no. to kill people and they fired your ass. Yeah, no wonder you're a fucking dumbass. Well, I'm, I'm, I, I'd rather I'd rather live as a, as a free man than a slave, and that's the choice that I've made. You could laugh all you want. It's not it's it's not it's not a sensitive topic for me at all. If it was, I wouldn't put it out there on the stream. So doesn't it's not a sensitive topic. You could laugh all you want. Um. So you know, funny. you you say I've never been fired from a job from where McDonald's. I mean, what's the last job you've held? Target, uh, Home Depot. I at, uh, no, I, no, I worked at one of the largest software uh, medical software manufacturers in the world. As the janitor? No, as a software engineer. Yeah, you're full of shit. Yeah, dude, I no have way. A bachelor's degree in computer. No science, way, yeah. no way. So you 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 yeah, you, you would way. you wouldn't I last a day. You wouldn't last a day. But anyway, let let's we're we're getting distracted. Like you want to have a fucking coat off or something? What do you want to do? Let's do it. Let's go to let's go to um. No, what is it? No, I'm joking. But <laughs> no, I want to I want to fucking rap about fucking. I want to debate rap music. Okay, well, let's so let's so let's get back to that. Let's cover this Spotify uh, point. I have to make it because for some reason you want to uh, ignore the obvious. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Like I want to talk about this. My audience cares. Like Look, guys, I'm right and Beerton's wrong. Audience My audience cares. Idiots. My audience cares that I'm right, so there we go. There's the source right there. I'll post a link in the chat for you guys. Well, you don't care because you're wrong. Oh, wait, what was that? What did you say? Read news articles on fucking stream. It's fucking boring. What did you say? And you do nothing. 
your content, this is your, this is your content. This right here is the best content you'll have for the next month until, until you pick a fight with somebody else until, until you start more in fighting with the next AFR until you, until you decide to gatekeep the next guy. This is the best content you'll have all month. This is the best content you'll have all month. You don't have content. You, you, you know, if you want to attack me for my content, you're not the guy to do it. I'm not going to say it's not good. This is good you're not the guy to do it. You don't do anything. You sit in a chair. You moan that you're not receiving enough donations. I'm not mad. I'm excited. I'm not mad because I'm not, I'm not bothered by what you're saying. I do something. You do nothing. You do literally nothing. I don't know if you make more money than me. I actually don't know that you make more money than me. So I don't know that you make more money than me. I mean, I, 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 I've I seen a couple of your streams recently. You get like 20 bucks, 30 bucks a stream. Like, I don't know if you're making more money than me. Oh, that's, that is objectively not true. That is objectively not true. Well, you don't, you don't seem to be like swimming in, in a pile of riches over there. Dude, I've, <laughs> here we go. I mean, I'll just, I'll just, I made two grand last week. Good, good stuff. I mean, just, uh, and that's, and, and that's not even including my other revenue sources like merch. That's not including my gum road or anything like that. Good stuff, so, man. I Keep mean, it up. I I, if you, if you really want to fucking like flex dicks here, I mean, that's pr I mean, considering the fact that like your content is literally nothing, that's actually pretty good. I wonder, how, I wonder how I'll do when I, I'll, I wonder how I'll do when I, when I catch up to you, which shouldn't take much longer. I wonder how much money I'll be making yeah, since I actually, man, I since I actually do something unlike you, if you're making $2,000 a week. Nice. Can we, can nice. I'm looking music at this point. Can we, can yeah, sure. Okay. It yes. Pathetic. It is pathetic for you. Okay. So okay. here is you basically you're asking me getting back to the debate. You're asking me what difference does it make? Okay. So the point I want to make here is it doesn't matter. It, it does make a difference, but let's, let's, I'll, I'll concede for a moment here that it makes no difference at all. Um, if your principles, okay, fine. We'll, we'll pretend for a second. That's true. If your principles no, are your print, if your principles are your principles, then you act on them regardless of the outcome. Otherwise, they're not your principles. So if you're a conservative, right. what I'm is this like huge blank, blanket statement? Though. No, it's not. No, it's it not. Is. It is. What I'm saying, in most simple terms, is that a, what I'm saying, in most simple terms, is that actions speak louder than words. In, in its most distilled form, that's the argument that I'm making, is actions over words. So you can say all the right rhetoric that gets the Groypers to so, tune into your stream, that makes them think you're based on red pill. But if you're not living a based on red pill life, and if you're not making the, the best decision that you could make with any given opportunity... Do you believe in, you believe in God? I do. I do. You do? Okay. I heard, I heard otherwise, but I, I just wanted to ask you to your Well, you also heard that I'm a fed. You also heard that I'm a wig nat. You also call me Jewish. You also, there's, there's a lot of things you and your audience have to say about me. None of which is true. I support Nick. I support America first. That's all I'm doing is asking the question. You don't have to spurg out about it. I just, I just literally just wanted to confirm that for myself because I don't like to make assumptions about people unless I hear, you know, or see otherwise. So I'm just asking the question. No reason to get mad about it. I just wanted to ask you. Okay. Well... Getting back to my point, your principles are not your principles unless you actually take action on them. So you can, you know, turn on your stream every single night. You could say base things and red pill things, but if you're not actually doing anything to make a difference, then it's then it's all it, it's fashion. It's it's fluff. Okay. So so then, for instance, Trovo here, the the streaming site that you and I both use, uh, they probably don't like your politics and they probably don't like your beliefs and they probably actively profit off of them. So should so, so should you stop streaming on Trovo then? Since you want to live by your principles? No, because bec you, you keep making this like same, this essentially same argument. I'm asking, I'll respond. That's all I'm asking. I, I want to know where your principles lie because you want to make these huge blanket statements and I want to know where the line is exactly because there is a line and you want to keep making these blanket statements and ignoring that. So I think it's fair. Okay, so when it comes to a streaming service, I think that we should use whatever streaming service is going to get, yes, they absolutely are going to be, be compensated because we're using the service. But... I think you have to you have to run the calculus and see how much are they benefiting versus how much is the political collective benefiting if I'm able to get our message out there if I'm able to promote if I'm able to advertise the 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 movement which which oh, I so do it so so what you're saying so what you're saying is practicality matters here but it doesn't matter in other instances like streaming music services no, practicality always matters but but okay, the so appropriate prescription is going to vary because be, it, 
So it, it varies based on the, the, you know, business or whatever that we're discussing. So, but ultimately, ultimately we should do what is most politically advantageous for us. And that varies whether it's a, whether it's a, a, you know, a live streaming service or whether it's a music streaming service, you know, like what about when it comes to Netflix? Do you agree that Groypers should cancel their Netflix accounts? Or do you think it makes no difference? I don't think it makes much of a difference, to be honest with you. I mean, I don't have a Netflix just because, like, there's really nothing on there I want to watch. That's so it. what if, like, you know, like, are you against uh, uh, a push from within the movement to get as many of our guys divested from companies like Netflix, like Spy? Like, why, why is that a bad thing? Isn't that only a net positive if we could... Because because the movement is young, it's it's in its infancy, it's still growing. So shouldn't we like implement this this uh, uh, behavior, this practice from an early age? That way, when America First is two hundred thousand large and five hundred thousand large, we're all collectively saying fuck Netflix. We're all collectively saying fuck Spotify. And at that point, it will make a difference. Because because, because I'm I, I don't know about you. I'm not in the business of really telling people how to live their lives. I'm not. I'm just not. I'm just being totally upfront with you. I'm not in the position to tell people what they should and should not do. They should make those judgments for the for themselves. If what if you know if they're watching a show on Netflix that they really like and they really they really enjoy and they get a lot from it, then I'm not going to tell them to cancel Netflix. What do they get? They get like like a dopamine rush. Like there's nothing else in the world somebody could do than play a video game yeah, I mean, or, or watch a TV show. Like you could do something productive, no, maybe you could I mean, you could cancel Netflix no, and you could pick up an instrument. No, 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 you could dumb. read a book. Dumb. That's dumb. Really dumb. That's dumb to tell really, to tell. That really is, that's a really dumb. No, let me finish my point here. I you will. Your little like dumb spurt. Like yeah, art and culture have a lot of effect on people. I mean, art and culture can really like. If I guess you don't. What? Like, I'll ask you this afterwards. Um, but art and culture can really have a positive influence on someone and their on their mental well being, on their on their on their soul. I think I think art and culture play a huge huge part of a of a human being in their life. And I don't know. I watch like a lot of like really good movies. I, I consider myself uh, to have really good taste, right? And so I'm a big fan of like David Lynch, for instance, right? The filmmaker David Lynch. I really like Eraserhead, and I get a lot from those movies, right? They they really do. It, you know, I'm not saying that oh they changed my life or anything like that, but they put me in a positive headspace. They help me think critically. They um, really challenge me, right, to think beyond the box and everything else. Uh, and I think art and culture definitely has a really good place uh, to do that kind of stuff, especially when you when you're watching like really good film or you listen to a really good song or an album uh, or anything else. And the fact that you want to uh, devolve art and culture into this like, oh, dopamine rush, blah, 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 just proves to me that you don't really have a really good understanding or grasp of art. Well, so let me ask you this. What about, what about, what, okay, okay, you, you went off for a while there. What about, what about, like, what about when, what about, what about, what about when Nick, what about when Nick dunks on, on Marvel fanboys? Let me finish my fucking point, dude. I've let you fucking talk for 10 years. You went for about five minutes there, but go ahead. I was wrapping up. I was wrapping up, you fucking spur. Just let me finish my point, and then you can- You're not making a point. You're telling me art's important. I agree, art's important. I never said otherwise. Art's important, yes. Agreed. Agreed, art's important. Good point. No, because you wanted to belittle art and culture to just nothing more than- Wrong. Wrong. Once again, once again, for the fifth time. No, I did not. No, I did not. Once again, you are responding to an argument that I have never made. Once again. Oh my God! You just said it. You literally no, I didn't. just said it. No, I didn't. I didn't say. I didn't say I'm really, never. I'm rewinding. I'm rewinding the stream right now. I didn't say never ever consume any art or media ever again for the rest of your life, which is kind of. No, 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 shut up! Shut up! No, it, bro, you're pathetic. You actually are pathetic. I didn't say never watch another movie, never play it. I don't. Okay, what? I'll, 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 I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. I, I don't care. I'll give it to you. It's so irrelevant. It's so irrelevant. Once again, this is like another one of like the, no, like, this so is the best you can it's do. So irrelevant when I'm wrong. It's so irrelevant when I'm wrong. It's so irrelevant I'm not wrong. when I'm wrong. I'm not wrong. You're, you're pretending I said something yeah. once again that I didn't say, and you're calling it a point. It's, Go ahead. Take the point, bro. I don't get, I don't care. Dude, I don't care. I want to move on. It's, yeah, of course you want to move on because you look like an idiot right now. Okay. I don't look like an idiot. You're, you're, you're you once do. again, you once do. again, you are annihilating a straw man. Congratulations. You, you have. You 
the argument. You okay. said that. that is, those are words that came out of your no, mouth. No, I, I no. That. So, so, all right, let me ask you this. You, you think, time, you think. Every time we get into, like, every time we get into a meat and potatoes, like, actual discussion about this issue, you know what ends up happening is you get proven wrong, and then you fucking spurg out, and then we have to get derailed for fucking 10 minutes for you to get back on track. That's what's happened. This the only time. points you've made today you are all wrong, semantic arguments. They're oh, semantic cheap oh, shots. This is nothing. That. That's what the fucking argument turns into, man. These, these are semantic on cheap on shots. Stay I never on said on stop on listening on to music. I never said I stop do, appreciating art. Do you think I said that? Do you think that? Do you think that I'm advocating for people to stop consuming art entirely? Do, is that really the argument you think I'm making here? Dude, you are really so, so fucking stupid. It's it's. Baffling. It's baffling. Well, that's what you Anyways, just that's what you just my, told me I said. My point then. No, no, no. I don't want to I'm done having these dumb little petty arguments with you. Just address my point here. About art and culture. Address it. Um, what was your point? That movies are important? I agree. Yeah. Movies are important. Art's important. Music is important. Never said otherwise. You spent like 10 minutes debunking a point I didn't make. I I think that when it comes to music or when it comes to art, we should promote art that is in line with our values and we should uh, uh, disavow, we, we should disassociate as best as we can, okay? It's not gonna be perfect. There's always gonna be some groypers who go see the next Star Wars movie. There's always gonna be some groypers who go see the next Marvel movie. But as a collective, the messaging that we're putting out there, right, from the leadership to the big, big audience that we have is guys don't support this you know, don't support this company. Don't support Disney. They hate you. Don't support uh, Fox. They hate you. Don't support uh, we like like that. That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying is, if we as individuals we slip, you know, we 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 really really love us. We have like a, a guilty pleasure. We really want to see that movie, or we really want to see play that game. Okay, it's gonna happen, right? That's going to inevitably happen. But the the messaging from the leadership in this movement should be strong and it should, and we should be really, we, we should be you seem to have a, a lot of opinions about what the leadership should do. Why don't you just start your own thing then? Like all you do is bitch about the leadership. So why don't you just start your own thing? I, I think that this is a legitimate criticism though. Like I think the I leadership think is a legitimate criticism of you. I like, why don't you just start your own thing? If you, well, you, wait, 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 how about, how, how, how about, about you respond you to what I'm actually question. saying in, 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 instead of, question with another question instead of the sleight of hand you're trying to use where you're trying to like make it look like i'm snubbing the leadership why because because i'm vocalizing because because i'm articulately vocalizing a a, a genuine criticism you're, you're gonna attack me for that so instead of responding to the point i instead of responding to the point i just made you're gonna say oh oh why don't you why don't you start your own movement i don't want to start my own movement i don't want to i, I couldn't if i wanted to i couldn't if i wanted to but I support Nick. I like what he's doing. He's got a strong movement. It's the, it's the best that I've personally ever seen, which is why I support it. And I'm going to occasionally vocalize good faith, constructive criticisms. It's every day. It's, every day. it's not every day. It's not every day. It's, at, it's as issues arise. We should not be collectively supporting companies that hate us like Pit Vipers. We also shouldn't be supporting people, musicians, celebrities that hate us like most rappers do. That's why they take their money. That's why they take their money and they invest it exclusively in their communities. Look at look at what happens to any black celebrity once they've made their first hundred million dollars. What? What? I looked through your, let's go to your, like, uh, your YouTube playlist, your White Boy Summer playlist. How oh many you think, God. how many of those artists do you think are, like, on our side? Okay, so the point I made earlier in my, what do you guys think? the point I made earlier in, legitimate question. probably zero, maybe three, I don't know. The point I made in my opener is the reason why I singled out rap music in particular is because rap is by far, when it comes to any genre of music, and if, and if you could one-up it, then let me know, it is by far the greatest offender. It, it is by far the most diametrically opposed to our political values. And on top of that, there is a large proportion of groypers who consume that music. That's the reason why I've singled out rap music. Why, why would I single out, like, opera music? Why would I single out country music? You, you don't think there's any, like... What, what about heavy metal, like satanic heavy metal? Okay, well then, 
I think there's a lot Definitely. more groipers that are consuming and promoting rap music versus satanic death metal. If I ever see death metal, satanic death metal becoming a problem, then sure, I can comment on that too. It's not like I'm, it's not like I'm, you know, only against rap and then for everything else. No, I'm, I'm, I'm but I see rap as being the greatest offender. That is clearly the case. And that's the reason why I've called out rap, not because I'm not because I hate black people and they make me mad, like which which you pathetically had to say about me. Unbelievable, man. That was that was really unbelievable. To get that from a right winger, to be accused of racism from a right winger, really, bro. That's that's low even for you. I don't care. I, I'm not going to get mad if you're racist or whatever. It's not my opinion. It's just that's so crazy. pathetic, that's man. That I was getting from you. So pathetic. So pathetic or not, I think it's true. I really do. I think it's true, and I, I think it's really. So you're saying you think it's true that I'm a racist? So, so you are on the record yeah. calling me a racist in front of the audience for everybody to see. That's something that you yeah. want to say about somebody else in this movement. Are you not? Are you amazing. Not? Amazing. I mean, just, I mean, I think it's a simple question. If, if Amazing. Not, you know, this is, this is, this is awesome. I'm glad you're doing this. I'm glad you're doing this. Go ahead. Keep, keep digging deeper. Keep digging deeper. No, answer the question. Was it jungle jogger music? Was that the term that you used? Keep digging your hole deeper, bro. You, this is, this is a good look for you. This is a good look. This is the game you want to play. Really? I can go to your telegram chat right now. The N words there a thousand times. Did I say it? I don't know if you said it, man, but like, there's like. I'm a racist, and they can think that. I don't care. I'm not ashamed of it. I'm not hiding from it. Whatever. So, are you a racist? Oh, oh, okay. So, all right. So, you answer the question then. Like, this is gay, man. Did you say jungle jogger music or not? This is this is gay, man. This is like just just answer the question. It's this is so pathetic. I'm not. You know what I said. Everybody knows what I said. Yes, I called it jungle jogger music. And and to clarify, when it comes to jogger, the reason why I said jogger is because I can't. Well, that's what it is, though, is it not? Do you disagree? No, I yes, I disagree because rap music is a gambit of different creative. Oh albums. no! Oh no! Yeah, really? Like You're that. gonna tell me that rap music is something yeah. other than black? Oh yeah. Oh it is, no! Like, oh. <laughs> like experimental hip hop music. Let's go. Like Cloud Dead. Let's go. Cloud okay, so so now so now you're making the hashtag not all you're making the hashtag not all rap argument. It's a genre of music, man. Right. Like, you're the one that's wanting to pigeonhole this like genre of music into being uh your whatever jungle jogger music or whatever you called it which you like i don't know why you're ashamed to admit that that's, that's what you called it i'm not ashamed to admit it i'm ashamed that you would actually lower yourself to the point where like I'm, like you're I'm essentially calling me a, you're calling me a racist i am i am making the case as to why i called you that and you're I, deflecting i'm not deflecting i'm just like Yes, you baffled are, you're not i'm speechless questions. that you would actually say this that that you think this makes you look good like you think you're owning me right now by calling a right winger a fellow right winger a racist in a debate like this is trying to own you i'm i'm legitimately making my case as to why i called you that you're such a legitimate you're such a genuine guy pearson you're really you're really an authentic genuine guy we're having a debate RPG, quit deflecting. You, it's all you're doing is deflecting. You're so genuine. No, I just wanted to comment. I'm you're a genuine guy. I am a very genuine guy. So true. What is that? Especially happen? when you're asking for those donations. I'm trying to ask you questions. I'm trying to ask you questions here, and you're deflecting, and I don't know why you are. I'm not. You, the yeah. fact that you think I'm deflecting. If someone, if someone, if someone was to use a racially charged term towards a genre of music that is predominantly black, this and I, stop. I'm sorry, I, stop. I would assume that that makes you biased racially towards that genre of music i think that's a pretty safe assumption to believe i don't care if you're a racist it doesn't make me mad i don't think it's an own or anything like that i'm not trying to use it as an own i am simply stating a fact that's all that it is and you okay. cannot seem to grasp that i don't care i have fans that are racist i don't give a shit this is I'm so pathetic. It's just, I, I can't believe you, like, I, this is I where you want to take it. I think your beef with rap music is that it's made by black people. And the reason that I think that is because you described it as jungle jogger music, which is a racially charged term. I think that's pretty cut and dry. Okay, man. So you now that you've established the fact that I'm a racist, I will uh, respond to this point once again, even though I already put it out there in my opener. The reason why I singled out rap music is because it is the greatest violation of our values by far, and it's not even close. 
You know I'm right. Everybody watching the stream right now knows that I'm right. And when I see white AF streamer, when I, can I fucking talk now? When I see white AF streamers acting like black people on stream. Who's that? I don't, I don't know what that was. When I see white people acting like blacks on stream and they're supposed to be AF, oh, you know, we're, we're, we're this based and red pilled Christian movement. I see these black, I'm sorry, these white kids like emulating black behavior because they think it's cool. Yeah, I think that's cringe. And yeah, I'm going to say something about it. And if you want to say you sound like a racist, then I, I, I don't like that. That is just so low and pathetic. I'm genuinely surprised why, why that, you would take that, it there. Why is that low and pathetic? Well, no, I mean, legitimately, why is that low and pathetic? Because I'm making an actual argument. I'm making a legitimate argument. And instead of responding to the argument that I'm making, you're playing the race card, I'm which I have to explain this to you. I'm responding to you calling it jungle jogger music. I feel like I'm debating Hunter Avalon right now. Bro, I already said that insult. You can't play that on me when I already- You said that today? I felt like I- Yeah, you never debated Hunter Avalon, by the way, because you're not relevant. I've, deb I've actually debated him, like, three times. So, you have no point of reference for that at all. <laughs> Well, I mean, I could very, I, no, I could, I, I could debate him after this if I wanted to. I don't want to. I mean, the, the guy will take no, a, oh, the, yeah, the guy, sure. he, I mean, you, you know that, you know, he, you know, he's pathetic. You know, he'll take a, de he'll take a debate from, from, from like a homeless guy. Like the, the guy will debate anybody. Yeah, do, it then. do it then. Why not? It'd be good content for you. I don't need, I mean, I, I apparently I don't need to with the conversation oh, we're having. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Cope, dude. It's a total cope. Well, you're calling me a racist now. So uh, why do I need to debate Hunter Avalon no, if I could just continue the conversation here with you? That's the thing. I don't care if you're a racist. I just don't like you being dishonest about it. That's the I'm thing. not, bro. I'm not being, I'm not, I'm not, are. I'm not. I know what I said. I have no regrets or second thoughts about what I said. I think that we as a predominantly white movement should be promoting white values over black values. And we should be promoting paleoconservative values over so anything. Like with red is it's race. Hmm? That's what, that, and that's my point. No, that's okay. Stop, stop. stop. No. That's what you said. That is exactly what you said. And that's my point. No. You can't look past the race thing. No, because if rap music did not feature the following. Promotion of drug abuse, sexual degeneracy, violent criminal behavior, materialism, rejection of authority, and anti-whiteness. Anti-whiteness yeah, is... anti. Whiteness. Can I fucking talk? Anti-whiteness is baked into the cake. Where? Okay, it is explicitly an anti-white form of music. That that's that's its origin. Why why why, why is it why is it anti-white? I'd love this because black people in general are pro-black. They're not pro-white. Look at the way look at the way they vote. Generality is about black people. That's not a generality, idiot. Look at the way they vote. Look at the way they voted for the last fifty years. Hey, and you're gonna deny it? Let me wait, wait. Stereotypes? Wait, stereotypes aren't real now? Now, okay. So you call me a racist? Now you're gonna tell me stereotypes aren't real and generalizations aren't effective? Look at the way they vote. They vote. They are tribal. They vote for their interests. They vote to promulgate their culture, not ours. I'm a white guy. Okay, I'm not a black person. Nothing personal, but but. White people should be as tribal as blacks are, and they're not. Instead of white people being tribal, they're embracing a culture that isn't theirs. That's something that I'm going to... We all know this. We all know this. You know what you're doing? We all know this, but, but some of us are speaking out against it, and others are saying, oh, well, there's nothing I could do about it, so I'm just going to continue doing it. I'm totally helpless and powerless, and I have no agency, I have no willpower, I have no autonomy, so... No, no, no. Tell what you can do is you can tell your, can you can use your platform, you can use your platform to tell your audience, hey guys, uh, maybe we should find a different form of art to, to consume. Maybe we should, why? why? Because we have a political objective here that we're trying to accomplish. Maybe, maybe not you, because you don't care about politics. The, the bottom line, the bottom line with you. That it, it, it's, it's part, it's part of the strategy. It's one tiny part. It, it's one tiny part of how we win the culture war is by taking their culture and de-emphasizing it and re-emphasizing our culture instead, instead of this anti-white culture with this anti-white messaging. And this is obvious. Even to you, this is obvious. But you feel compelled to disagree with me because because I hurt your feelings during the Louis Thoreau debate that we had. No, you're, you're so wrong. now you, you've taken you've taken the wrong. indefensible position here because because you're, you're trying to save face. You're trying to, you're trying to, you are, you are, you're trying to recover your lost reputation. 
and and now you've backed yourself into this humiliating corner. Oh man, so humiliated. You got me. No, it is. Dude, like, why are you? First off, why are you screaming? Like, it, it, <laughs> I don't know why you're screaming right now. Like, we're just having a debate, dude. You can calm down. The reason why I'm screaming is because I've been trying to get a word in most of this debate, and dude, unless I scream, ten minutes straight. I just let you talk for ten minutes straight, dude. I I mean, I don't know what else to. I don't know what else to do. You're gonna blow, you're gonna fucking blow a blood vessel, man. Chill out. I'm I'm like I I'm not interested in having a screaming match with you. I'm really not. I don't. I have no interest in it at all. I, I actually think this is a, a topic that's worth debating. I think there's a lot of ground to be covered here. So I'm I'm letting you talk, and then you don't want to let me talk or like raise my point here. Go ahead. Okay. The reason why I brought up the race thing, because it does it just legitimately seem like it's, and you've said this yourself, because it's black music. And I just don't think that that is a conductive ground to base your life off of. I don't think that's a healthy mindset. It's not solely because it's black music, though. You're straw manning me. You're straw manning me. I would rather you respond to my actual argument. Respond to my actual argument. Respond to my actual argument. I'm not done talking if you'd let me finish. I have to correct you because you're not responding to my actual argument. You're not responding. You're you said, dude. And this is what we do. This is what our this is how RPG debates, man. I, I literally tell say what you said verbatim, and then you get mad because you realize you look like a dumbass, and then you're like, that's not what I said. That's not what I said. That's not what I said. And that's what the debate turns into. How about how about this for a debate? How about we do this? I make a point, and then if I'm wrong after I'm done speaking, and then you talk, and then you say I'm wrong, and then and then I'll refute your point after you're done talking. Because that's typically how debates work. How about we do that? Okay, but what you're doing is like you keep you keep making all like these like semantic like like cheap shots, and you, you realize you realize in a debate you realize in a you realize in a debate that sometimes you sometimes you don't need to prioritize white culture over black culture, right? Is that not what you said? Yeah, I think we should be promoting white culture over black culture. Yes, exactly. That's what I'm saying. That's, it did, it didn't sound saying, like dude. it didn't sound like that's what you were saying. It sounded like you were making a different point. You said that my contention with rap music no. is that it's black. That's not my contention yes. with rap. So it, there you go. It's right. So culture. It's black culture, right? So did, did I forget the word culture? Is that what do you want to do? You want to debate semantics? I'm doing exactly what you're doing now, though, which I'm not wanting to do. But I'm that, that that's the point that I'm making is this is exactly what you keep doing back to me. It's not no, just I'm that it, not, it's 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 not, not just that it's black culture. It's what does black culture entail? What are the values of black okay, culture? So, that's what I'm saying. so, are, so it's not it's not describing. Oh man, man, it's not just race. It's not just race. It's the values that I'm against. Not not I see a black person. I see I see different skin color. And I'm like I don't like that. No, it's not the skin color that I'm taking issue with. It's the values that black culture promotes. Yeah, there we go. It's, but it's I'm not I'm not talking. I didn't even mention skin color at all. I am talking about exactly what you said. Black culture. That's what I'm talking about here. Okay. So keep your panties on and chill. All right. I am talking about the fact that you don't like rap music because it is a part of black culture. Right. There's more to that. Black culture. The values promoted. By black, it's not. It's dude, not okay. black I'm culture. Do, earlier. do I have to? Do I have to? Uh, do okay, I have fine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Continue. I'm sorry. Continue. I, I mention it, or, do, or do, does your audience understand what I'm saying? Does your does your audience? Okay. Your okay. Audience give a little baby, baby spoon to feed, so I can tell them what you're saying. Continue. But you get what I'm saying. I am elaborating on what you said. I don't need to regurgitate everything that you said. They get what I'm talking about, right? I per I I personally didn't, but I I, I believe you. You're being good faith. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So your argument here is that you don't like rap music because it is a part of black culture and that it promotes bad values, which by the way, like half of those that you listed are actually pretty based. Okay. Like you said, really uh, something, something about rejecting authority. Oh my God. I, you, so you don't reject authority. Well, so to be more specific, are you telling me that George Floyd is based because he he resisted Officer Derek Chauvin? Are you telling me that Trayvon Martin is based? Are you telling me Breonna Taylor? Like that's what I mean is they they reject authority without justification, without without any actual justification for doing so. So it's not see, it's not rejection of authority in itself. 
Okay, right. So so it's not rejection of authority in itself. It's rejection of authority where authority is is justified. And honestly, I, I don't know. It kind of it kind of was based. I'm not gonna lie. It kind of was based. But Trayvon Martin didn't like reject authority. I don't know why you're bringing him up. He got shot by a, a, a civilian. So that was a, a good, security guard. Good argument. No, well, a I, security I, guard. A security guard. Pri private security. Details to be honest with you. Okay, well, like, but George but Zimmerman was private security. I can't yeah. remember to be honest with you. Yeah, he was like the neighborhood watch. Uh, that's not private security. That's a volunteer. That's in, not authority. In that environment, George, he wasn't. A, I don't think he was a volunteer. Actually, I think he was paid. But but regardless, in that environment, he was the authority figure. Yeah, whatever. I mean, I, I don't consider neighborhood watch to be any authority, but <laughs> I just whatever. I I, I, I think I think he may have been paid. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter, but. I, I don't know, like, that's that's dumb, but th at the end of the day, what it comes down to for me is that you're ascribing this, all, all of these things, to rap music, but, like, rap music is such a large gambit. Like, you, you I don't think you really even understand how deep rap music goes. Like, I, I mean, really, I honestly, and, I, and I'm not even being facetious, I would urge you to listen to something like Cloud Dead. That's one of my favorite personal hip-hop groups. Uh, it's a lot of just like abstract poetry, uh, like ambient kind of beats and things like that that I really enjoy. Um, there's a lot of really interesting rap music out there. And and I don't know why you're ascribing all of these things to rap music. Would you like, what, what about Will Smith, right? Eat your carrots, you know, kiss your dad before you go to sleep, whatever. Like, is that bad? Are we not allowed to listen to that? Well, lyrically, I don't, I don't think Will Smith's music is offensive, but I think that um, when it comes to political commentary, when it comes to the causes that he's promoted, that he's personally invested in, when it comes to the, the comments that he's made about white people and white supremacy and all of this, it would be better for us as a collective if people like Will Smith did not have a, a platform. Right. So, so in your world, so in your world here, what we have to do, what you want America First to do as a whole and as a collective is anytime we watch a movie or we listen to a song or we consume anything, we have to spend no wrong straw man time trying to research if these people no support never said it that. once and, and basically what you're doing never said it once people to isolate themselves from society that's what you're doing what I'm you're saying people to no isolate themselves from society as a whole yeah you are because you're saying that you need to cancel all your subscription services you don't need to be plugged into anything and you just don't like basically if if we were all to live the way that I'm you saying do the live, best you can do that's anything. it do the best that you can do but no yeah, but but Netflix not, Netflix is not a not. I can tell that you're not Netflix is not a necessity is right? Spotify is not a necessity not like you None of these things are a necessity, man. Right. So then it should be possible for you to make media. Not all. I'm not saying all. I never once said yes, all. You what are. I... That's what no, you said. I'm that's, that's essentially what you're implying. Yeah. No, it's not. What I'm saying is Why? do the best that you can do against the greatest offenders. I just just that, make a calculated that's, decision. That's such a... That's such a stupid thing to say. Hey guys, go out there and do your best. Like that, like that doesn't even need to be said. That's so retarded. But apparently it does, bro. Because like, what, what's what's the latest no, trend? What's the latest trend for Groypers? Pit Vipers. So apparently it does need to be said. Dude, no one's even buying Pit Vipers anymore. Like, okay, yeah. Now, now that the money has been spent, yeah, but they're still gonna wear the Pit Vipers. They're still gonna promote the brand. No, I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know exactly how many sales America First has generated for Pit Vipers. But if I had to take a guess, I would guess it's in the tens of thousands of dollars. I, I would legitimately. It was five hundred. No, I'm not saying Nick. Buy him. I'm saying Nick and every other Groiper who bought a pair of Pit Vipers because they no, wanted to look like their favorite streamer. I'm gonna. I'm gonna pull one of you. Somebody actually sent me the 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 proof of how much money they sent to the SPLC or whatever. That's not the point I'm making. That's not the it point is, I'm making. I mean, I'm just, they I'm sent the SPLC six hundred dollars. Do you? Dollars. You said tens of thousands. No, of thousands. you're 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 misunderstanding. What I said is that Nick. Okay, okay. Take the cost of the pair of Vipers that Nick bought, and take the cost of the pair of Vipers that every other Groiper also bought. That's what I'm saying. Okay, I I would right, wager. So, so what you're what, so what you're suggesting here is that before we buy anything, we have to. No, do you keep saying this. Make sure. That, no, that's because that's what you're. What else are we supposed to do? What you're supposed to do How is okay. To live this perfect life and do our best if you and live by because your it is no secret. Pit Vipers, years. Pit Vipers publicly denounced us for at least half a year now. We've known this for a long time now. And how many Groipers bought? Funny. What? 
It was funny. Who cares? They got what mad. was funny? They get, that yeah. they got mad. Okay, so so you think do you think it's then funnier to purchase a pair of pit vipers and make them mad? I don't know. I I'm probably not going to to be honest with you. You know what would make them even more angry? I think what would make them eat what would have set them even more is if they went out of business. Probably, you know, you instead know of like you know what's really funny is that you have the exact same stance as pit vipers. That's really funny. You have the exact same stance. What's that? That griper shouldn't wear them. You you guys both agree. For different reasons. Congratulations. Horse, you have proven that horseshoe theory is real. <laughs> oh my God. Your arguments are so bad. Really? Like no, it's like, true. It's true. You can for totally different thing. reasons. It's but it's the same conclusion. No, it's, it's the same logical outcome. Who gives a fuck? It's the same logical outcome. That, that doesn't I change. Do. That doesn't change our. Do. Oh my God, man. It's the same logical conclusion. Who said? Matters. No, it doesn't. Yeah. No, what yeah. I'm saying, what I'm saying is. We should have, as a collective, stopped buying pit vipers six months ago when they made when they declared. Did you say anything? Okay, so why didn't you say anything six months ago then? Maybe we all would have listened if you. Said I actually, I, I, the first time I commented on pit vipers, I don't think it was six months ago. I actually, actually, I didn't find out about it until later. Once Nick started wearing the pit vipers or or shilling the pit vipers, then it really, then it really took off. Yeah. Yes. 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 Once an issue became an issue, that was when I commented on the issue. I can't. I can't comment on an issue before it exists. You said it was an issue six months ago. I didn't know that though until later on. I didn't know that until later. I didn't. Maybe. Maybe you should have did your research like everybody else. You. You expect everybody else to do. Never said that. Never said it. Yeah, you did. It was known by Nick. I'm pretty confident. That pit vipers were not so our. So you're mind reading now. So you're mind. You're a mind reader. I mean, if you want, you speak to him personally. You could ask him. Hey, Nick, hey, Nick, were you aware that pit viper? I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I can't read minds like you can. Apparently. I'm just okay. Well, I, here's what I can say. It was known to most groipers that pit vipers was a company that stood against us at the time of purchase, and. They should not have bought Pit Vipers if they knew the company hated us. Why? Because what happened? And, and by the way, by the way, I was right all along because Pit Vipers, they tweeted again, right? Nick went to CPAC. He did his speech. And then Pit Vipers, they tweeted again. And then they tweeted a second time. And they said, ha look, we're taking the money now. We're giving it to the SPLC. So I was right. And then after, and then after I said it, and then after I said it, I was vindicated by Nick himself because Nick Put out on Telegram, hey guys, we should stop buying pit vipers now, which is something I said long before you did and long before anybody else did. And I caught so much shit for saying that because people in this people in this movement, many of them, they just want to fit in. So they don't ask themselves these questions. They're, they don't use any any critical thought at all because they want to preserve the social circle. They want to be, you know, one of the epic memers. Ha ha. I'm, I'm an irony, bro. So to, like a lot of people in this movement aren't serious. And, and you're one of them, by the way. You're one of them because yeah, no, be, I'm not. because your actions aren't serious. And I'm asking you, hey, Beardson, hey, you had a platform that's bigger than mine. Why don't you act serious? Why, why don't you, instead of promoting all this garbage, why don't you promote something good, something that helps us? No, I don't want to. Clearly you don't want to. And that's why I called you out in the first place. Cause, because I, 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 can, I can smell a bandit from a mile away. You're a grifter. You're you're the spitting definition of a. You are grifting because you are cashing in on the America First brand without being America First at all in any discernible way. You turned your camera on. You begged for donations. What do you do for the movement? Oh, you tell jokes. Oh wow, <laughs> he's so funny. He told a joke. What are your jokes about? Your jokes are about like mostly other AF people. Your gatekeeping. How about look like like let, let's talk about optical descent for a second. If people if people want to. If people want to contribute to the movement, you, we shouldn't be gatekeeping them. Of course, yeah, we get optics check, and and, and JB is 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 apps. JB deserves deserves condemnation, but like that's not the point. The point I'm making is we should be encouraging. We should be encouraging. We should be. Are you mad that Patrick out of the movement? Because he was. No 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 no. Who did I kick out of the movement that you're so fucking mad about? Because I know it wasn't fucking JB. So it was no Patrick the thing? point. No, I no, I was. You could ask anybody who knows my stream. I was totally on board with the Patrick thing. Gatekeeping. Who am I? Who am I gatekeeping? Then you I'm gatekeep gonna... everybody. That's what you do because you you don't have content. You said it. You said yourself. You don't have. Cite your fucking argument. The the, the the optical descent guys.
JB who got drunk as fuck and yeah, abused he, everybody? Yeah, yeah. He, he, he deserved it. But still, like now, now it's my turn. Then, then, then who else? Then who else? Who am I gatekeeping out? That Me. To be in? You're not in. I didn't gatekeep you out. You gatekeep yourself out because your content's bad and all you do is bitch and fucking whine. Well, I think that I bring up constructive criticisms and I think that you have no response for them. You have no content, which is why you're always trying to, you're always trying to pick fights with people. And you said it yourself. I, I have the clip on my telegram of you admitting that you don't have content. Now, I don't know if you were just drunk and, and you were letting loose. Maybe you let slip there. I'm not sure. But that's what you said yourself. Are you going to start counting my beers, big guy? Are you going to start counting huh? my beers? I'm not, I'm not count. I can't, I can't count that high. I can't count that high. So I, I would never, I would never even try. I have a beer, I'll DM you and I'll ask permission. You know, is it okay if I have a, a beer or two tonight? A beer or two? Sure. But I've never, I've never seen you stop at two before. What do you mean? I'm dude, I'm, I, you've never seen me drink ever, except for like what, one or two beers. I would love to know where, where am I getting? I every, every time I, every time I tune in, you're like slurring, you're sweating. You're like, you're like, uh, you're like bent over. You're, you're, you know, it's, it's really funny that you're considering yourself a Christian when you're literally out here, like spreading lies and slander about me. That's absolutely not true. Uh, except they're not lies or slander because that's what you're doing. Every time I tune in, you're like, <laughs> your guys, it's been 10 minutes. What's going on here? You know, one time I actually caught you, one time I caught you. One time I caught you and you you actually said, guys, I'm not gonna say anything until I got a donation. Like you actually did that because you had nothing else you had nothing else going on anyway. So you said, guys, I'm not going to continue the stream until one of my simps sends me five dollars. And then and then one of your simps did that. I think who did that? Who was the who was the pathetic fool who actually did it? I'm not seeing an out here. I am not seeing an out here at all. You're not seeing an out here? I, but you bring up all this shit as what I'm doing is I'm I'm exposing your your poor moral character. I'm exposing your poor moral character. These things are widely available. I I'm not ashamed or anything of any of this. God, I want pe I want people to know. I want you to dig your grave deeper and deeper. That's all I'm. That's all I'm trying to accomplish here. Did you see this thing that he openly admits? Can you believe that? That's what Lady Maga did. That's how you're arguing. You're arguing like fucking Lady Maga. You're not exposing anything. These are things that I'm very open about. And well, then, then I'm, I'm emphasizing. I'm emphasizing your qualities or lack of qualities. You're regurgitating my content because you have no content to be had. And again, um, I this was a debate about rap music, but once again, you keep going for the gutter, and it's really pathetic. I want. I wanted to talk about rap. You're gonna complain about people going for the gutter. Yes, I am. That, that's, your, that's your. That's your. That's your go-to. Trying to have. A de and substantive debate about this, this genre of music. And I mean, honestly, I feel like the debate is already over. I feel like I already won. What else is there to say? You haven't won anything. Let's continue to have the debate because we've barely talked about it. Okay, go go ahead. I'll let you uh, take the floor here. Oh, you're going to let me take the floor? Oh, man, thank you so much. So I really want to know, though. I, this is a legitimate question here. If, if you're gonna, I'm gonna, I want to, I'm gonna get this debate in before you bitch out, and that's, I know that's what you're trying to do. Is you're trying to weasel and bitch out. So, what <laughs> amount of time should we spend trying to research who hates us and who doesn't? What is a healthy amount of time to do that? It's a straw man. Look, if you watch America first, if you're, it's a, it's a, it's a, oh, if you want, no, 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 answer the question. Just, it's not a straw man. I'm answering the question. If, if you're, not. you're deflecting, you're deflecting. Is what you're doing. Oh, it's a straw man, blah, blah, blah. No, answer, just answer the question. It's not that hard. If you are someone who is politically active, then you know. You know which companies, you know which art, how. You're, you're just supposed to know. You're just supposed to know then. So what if somebody doesn't know these things? You you yourself know. Do I? I mean, you do. do. I know every single rap artist, political beliefs. I don't care. I don't research. Okay. Okay. And I'm like, that's pretty good. Oh, okay. Yeah. Some sometimes one's gonna slip. One's gonna slip through the cracks from time to time. Like you, once again, you're responding to a point what are you, that I'm what are you talking about. One slipping through the cracks. Like what are you talking about? What I'm saying is sometimes you're going to support some entity that is opposed to us. That's gonna happen. I'm not. There, there's no way to prevent it. So I get that. The, so then what's the? Well, then why are you bitching about it? You're like literally your argument is well, just do your best, guys. Like, My argument is like that stupid thing to say. the position of the movement should be, especially especially when it comes to businesses or art forms that are extremely, extraordinarily hostile to us, the position, and I think this should be like like a, a, a you know a repeated position, 
should be, guys, let us all together tell those people who hate us to go. Who's us? Who's us? Groypers. And you're going to say you're not a groyper? Okay, but like, yeah, there, I beat you too. I heard you, I heard you, I heard you start to say it. A what? Yeah. Yeah, I, I knew I knew you were going to say that, but like, whatever. Okay, let, let's pretend I am for a second. I think that the messaging should be: let's all cancel our Netflix. Let's all cancel our Spotify. Why? Because it helps us win, and it's the right thing to do regardless. How does it, how does it help us win exactly? I'd love to know. Like, break it down for me here, because I'm really stupid. Um, if we divest in our enemies, then our enemies are weakened, and then we. Uh, uh, in what in what way? In what way are they weakened? Um, financially, and if they're financially weakened, then then their influence weakens, then their their power, their authority, their sway, their pull. How much? Okay, so, so I want to get into the nitty gritty here in the logistics. If every Groyper canceled their Netflix subscription, how much money would they lose? Um, I don't know. Do the math. I mean, I don't know which package they have. I don't know how many. I, I don't have the figures. I don't right. know, but. Right. It would be, so it could be anywhere from like 50 to a hundred thousand dollars a month. Entire argument, you're, so your, your entire argument here is based on total speculation and conjecture. No. Yeah. Oh, here, here's my position. No here's idea. my position. No idea. My position. No idea. My position is, is that whatever Netflix, okay. So whatever know. Netflix is making, stop. Whatever Netflix is making right now, they will make fuck. Fuck you, because I'm making a point, and you're cutting me. You're cutting me off because I'm about to respond to your point and make you look like a fool for the thousandth time this debate. You're fucking sitting here screaming at me, dude. You're sitting here screaming at me. You're the one. You're the one who's who's bursting out in rage. You're the one who just said fuck you. Did I did I say that to you at any point of this debate? Bursting out in rage. Do I have the exact figures? I because I'm trying to get a point in, so I'm raising my voice so that you'll stop talking so I can respond to you. Who was that? Oh, that that's you. You're doing that. Okay. Very, very funny. Oh, you fucking dumbass. You finally picked it up. <laughs> well, it, it only took me two times. So I don't know exactly how much money they're going to lose. But what I do know is they'll have less money from us than they have right now. Okay? I don't know the exact figures. But I do know for certain that they'll have less money. And then as the movement grows and we continue putting that narrative out there that, you know, let's divest from these people, so then how does, how does the amount of money they lose from us over time will increase so i I just want to get this straight though so how does the movement grow when we have completely shut ourselves off from every facet of do we need do we need netflix to grow do we need spotify to grow do we need delta airlines to grow do we need we don't need the thing is you're talking you're talking about luxuries you're talking about comforts like they're necessities do you understand? Do you understand how little you actually need to survive? Like you talk about, like, oh, I, I, I can't cancel my Netflix. Are you kidding me? What's if I cancel my Netflix? I'm gonna go insane. I'm gonna have nothing to do, bro. There's like a billion other things you could do in this world. Maybe, maybe do something productive with your time. Have you considered doing something productive with your time? Maybe learning a skill. Maybe, maybe learning how to play an instrument. Maybe, and anything productive. What next? What's next for me? What, like, I know how to play instruments. I probably know how to play more instruments than you do. So what? You probably do. That's great. Keep it up, man. You should, you should do it on stream what once. Other, what, what, other, what other things should I do with my free time? Then? Anything productive. Like what? Like Anything, what? bro. I don't know. Fucking draw. You need, you need me to... You need, I don't know. What if I draw BLM propaganda? Would that be helpful to the movement? It, it's just the arguments you're making are pathetic, but that's why I wanted to have this debate no, with you but, because but I, it's no contest. Like it's no contest. Like so stupid. It's so stupid. It's no contest. Like, what, what your argument here is, is like basically you, you want to be the big man in charge and you just want to dictate what other people do with their lives. Like that's really what it comes down to. Like you have like little man syndrome where you really just- Ah, <laughs> ah Beardson just told me I have little man syndrome. Oh, that was good. Can, can you say that again? You say it one more time. Hold on. That was beautiful. Say it again. Little man syndrome? Oh, that was so good. That was so good. Oh, that was awesome. Come on, man. You you should know like which attacks to use, which to stay away from. You're shorter than I am. I don't know why you're trying to play this card. You're literally like five four. This is sad. This is sad. This is so sad, really. Let's get back to the topic at hand here. Let's get to the topic here. Yeah, keep coping and laughing, like a little fake mock laugh. Ha 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 ha! Yeah, it's a fucking that was pathetic. Laugh. You just told me I have little man syndrome. You are you are the textbook definition of little man syndrome. Right, I'm not the one trying to like dictate and preach to everybody what they should do with their lives. Um, wait, 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 wait. Isn't that what Nick does on his show every fucking night?
that's Nick. I'm not Nick. I'm not sure. It, but you, you could be. You you could you could try your no, best. I don't want to. I don't want to be Nick. I want to be Beardson. Why do I have to be Nick? Well, I, I think have a Nick. You don't have to be literally Nick, but what I'm saying is you can do your best to to follow in those what? footsteps to promote Why our I Why? Why? Why because do we have Nick. I don't need to be Nick. Nick is doing Nick. Because you are somebody that is I'm Beardson. Because you are somebody that is personally benefiting financially from your association, your your close association when you want it to be close. You're, you're very like wishy-washy. Like sometimes, you know, you boast about your cloud and AF, but then other times you're like, I'm not AF at all. AF, AF, life. what's that? I've never heard of it. America who? Nicholas J. What? Like, so, so like that, that's the problem that I have with you. Nick Fuentes is like one of my best friends. I love that guy to death. I've never been ashamed or, or, it sounded like you were kind of ashamed, though, when Louis Thoreau, I think Louis Thoreau asked you, well, well when you're counter signaling AF by denying your, what do you even know? When you're denying your associate, well, it only, la it only lasted 10 minutes, so it only lasted 10, no, because you don't even know how long it lasted. We had a conversation about your discussion with Louis Thoreau. You told me that you told me. When we discussed, you told me that you said to him that I'm not America first. Those were the words you told me, you told him. And if anybody doesn't believe me, we've already debated. Go, go watch round one. It's out there. You have on multiple yeah. occasions denied your association with America first. Oh, and you do this. I'm not denying anything. I'm not you've done it before, though. And now, and now, like I said, you're, you're wishy-washy. Now you're AF again. Now you're AF again. Dense. You're so dense. It's like you can't understand words that are coming out of my mouth. I, I mean, I can't because they're, they're coming out both sides. It's, it's, it's hard to keep up with. Is that right? Is that right, dude? You're not an honest <laughs> person. Stupid. You're not an honest person. I'm more honest with what I've had to say in my association with America First. Do you want me to clarify it or not? Are you going to keep fucking spurging out about it? I know what you said. And, and I know what you said. I'm right here. I'm, I'm, I know what you said. And now what you're going to attempt to do is you're going to attempt to save face. So now you're going to say, oh, that's actually not what I said. But in the moment, that was what you said. In the moment, like, that I, I, was I, I, what you said. So go ahead now. Go ahead. Because because Nick is going to watch the replay. So go ahead. Tell Pretend like you never said it. Oh, is he? Are you a mind reader again? You know what he's going to watch and you know he's not going to watch now too? You're Man, you should go into the fucking psychic business, dude. You know exactly what everything's happening. Well, I mean, you know I, think lo I think logically he's probably going to watch this, right? So go ahead. Correct the record. Yeah, Sa save reader. your reputation. Go ahead. Yeah, you're a fucking mind reader, dude. You should, you should fucking misclose. Tell me why you wanted this debate so badly, because so far, like, it's not it's not panning out for you. It's panning out great for me, dude. You Do you think like so? Fucking retard. Yeah. Do you think it is? Oh yeah. Yeah. All right, we'll I'm see. Like such a fucking idiot. Really? Yeah, okay. You're stupid. You're a stupid person, but it doesn't sound like I'm stupid because it sounds like I'm like defeating you on every single point, and the best you've been able to accomplish here is oh you uh. We haven't even been able to talk about like the actual topic at hand here because every time I get a point in on you, all you do is deflect and cope and like, oh well, I didn't say that. Let's move on, and that's all you've done this whole debate, man. Like we, have, I've I've tried to stay on hand here and on topic, and you refuse to do it because you're fucking losing. I don't think I'm losing, and I actually, I think I think, I think that's I think that's why reinforcements are trying to get in. But this is between you and me, so I'm gonna I'm gonna squash that oh, right yeah. here right now. But it. it Who's trying to get in? It, I don't know from the chat's in. telling me reinforcements are being sent right now since you're you're floundering oh, aesthetically. Right? Am, I, am I asking for reinforcements? No, I'm doing pretty well for myself here. You look like a fucking idiot, dude. Okay. okay. I mean, coming coming from you, like like that that's like a mentally disabled person calling me retarded. Like coming from you, it doesn't yeah, mean anything. You should feel really bad that uh, that even me as a mentally retarded person thinks you're fucking stupid. You should feel really small. Um, I should feel small. Yeah, you should. Why do you, why do you so desperately want me to be a political guy? Like, I, I mean, legitimately, like it's, I think it's a legitimate question. Like, why is it on me that I have to be this political guy? I just can't do, I'm not allowed to do what I, whatever it is I want. Why um, in a position to be because a you're cashing guy? in on the brand. If you're going to cash in on the brand, then I think you should pull your weight. How am I cashing in? How am I cashing in on the brand? I'd love to know. Because you are, I you. I literally say all the time, I'm not a, a figurehead of America first or anything like that. Well, Nick calls you an AF general. Am I, am, I, am, I, am, I, am I disavowing America first or am I cashing in? Like, which one is it? Both. That's what, I, that's what I've said several times now. Both. Both. You're a fence sitter. I said that in my opener. I've said it multiple how would I, times. How would, I, how, would I, 
wouldn't that be like the dumbest thing ever? If I it's pretty like, stupid, yeah. right? That's why I don't understand. I don't understand why people watch you. It's a pretty stupid. Like it, it's so clear how much of a fraud you are. I don't understand what would people what the appeal is with I you. Brought, I brought I brought my art. See, here's the thing. I don't think you understand is that I I've been streaming. You said I, you know you, you, I think even you know I've been streaming for a very long time, right? Like probably like four years. I ran a show called The Weekly Sweat, and I I mean I I remember. The, back when I had more viewers than Nick did, but I liked Nick a lot and I always bring him on my show because I just really liked him and I, I, I genuinely- I know the story. Good friend. Yeah, right. So what I did was I, I tried to bring my audience to America first and, and try to lead my audience to him because I really thought he was really talented. And I've said this multiple times, I used to do politics and stuff all the time. I used to do it, but I saw Nick and I was like, he's way better at this than I am. Like, why would I even bother continuing? He's so, he's so good at it. And so I just like, you know what? I'm just gonna be an entertainer. And that's what I want to do. Okay. So why is that a problem? Like, why is that an issue? Because, uh, because to me, from my point of view, it seems like you are uh, you're a fence sitter, and you. How am I a fence sitter? I've never once disavowed him. I've never once. You kind of did though. Him. You you kind of did Wait. though because because to me and to Louis Theroux, you were asked, "Are you America first? You said, "I'm not America first. I have nothing to do with them. I'm not a I'm not a political guy." You say you you say. As we're having a political debate, you go to political action conferences, but you're not political. I mean, come on, like you're you're just full of shit. You're totally full of shit. I don't talk about politics. I don't talk about politics. I mean, occasionally. What do you call the conversation we're having right now? Like I don't know. It's a, yeah, it's a political conversation. That doesn't mean that's all what I do. I mean, it's a hobby of mine at best. Okay. Are you not allowed to have it as like just as a hobby, as like a casual thing? Sure. Yeah. No. You. You could be a, a hobbyist, but that's the thing. For you, it's purely a hobby. It doesn't. It doesn't. It never actually materializes yeah. into real world action. So that's kind of you know right. the beef that I have I'm with you. To do real world action. I mean. Well then. I, well then. You should world drop world the action. politics. You should I entirely will. drop the politics then, because if you're going to associate yourself with America first, but you're not going to lead by example, but you're not going to lead by example, then you should you should cut off that association. Why, why, why should I not gain like a norm? Like, wouldn't this be really cool if like I got like a really normy audience or like, so say, so, uh, cause this has happened multiple times. Actually, I've had multiple, just random people hop in my stream. They watch me game or whatever. And then I'm start playing with the Nick and they're like, Oh, Hey, who's this Nick guy? I'll check him out. Like, don't you want people like that? Um, yeah, sure. Things? Of course. That's great. But I also, I, I would rather that's like fine. guys, I would rather guys like Vincent James were doing that instead of you, because you're a horrible example of what America first should be. And Vincent James is a great yeah. example. So I, like, I, I, I think optics are important. I think optics are important. I think optics are important and your optics are, um, I'm atrocious. Doing and I, I'm doing it and you're not. So what are you going to do about actually, it? Actually, I, 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 I actually do do it. No, you I actually don't. do you're do it. Shit. All you do is uh, read news articles. Well, I'm putting our message out there to the, you know, as many people as I can. Like, so, so what you're saying is, is if you, if you're not all, it's like all or nothing with you, right? That, no, what I'm saying, saying, what I'm saying is some, I'm asking, some. Me, I'm asking for some, I'm asking for some, I'm asking for some, not zero with you, you it's zero. To, are you trying to gatekeep me? I'm asking for some, not zero. That that's all I'm saying. If you're going to call yourself you AF. I sometimes, but you said I did it, I do it sometimes. Which you denied. You're the one denying being a political person. No, you're all over. You're all over the place. See, this is the problem. When, like this is the problem when you when you it's lie, you can't keep up with all the lies you've told, and then and then the the web starts to unravel. Dude, nothing's unraveling. I'm being totally transparent. I'm not that political. I talk about politics sometimes as a hobby, but that's not my main thing. Okay, whatever. No we discussed it enough. You are you you're totally apolitical. I mean, you you're on. AF, but you're not I AF. Say that. I didn't say I was like totally apolitical. Again, you're putting words in my mouth. Okay. I literally, I just said it, man. Like, how stupid can you be? I just said it. I okay. just said the words. Okay. Okay, what? You fucking stupid retard. I just said it. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm bored of this topic of conversation, so maybe we should. And you look like a stupid person. Like, no, I mean, I, 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 I think, I think, I think, I think we'll leave this one up to the audience. I think okay, people think, in the audience. Think, 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 think. Uh, what are you, Foghorn and Lahorn, dude? I think the audience, they'll make up their minds on this. They'll agree with me, and... Yeah, that's because that's, that's all that really matters to you is the audience. I don't give a shit about the audience. Fuck the fans. That's clear. That is clear. Yeah, yeah, that that that's how you act. So no surprises there. Yeah, it is how I act. Yeah, no, no, there is no surprises here because it's been my motto for four fucking years, dude. And foolish people and still what? watch it's you for some me. reason. Oh yeah, they're really fool. Yeah, they're dumb. They're stupid. Everybody that watches me is a dumb idiot, and everybody that watches you is a literal retard and probably a fed that's gonna get your ass in prison. Hey, uh, while we're here, while we're here, 
why do you want people to dox themselves? Oh, this is good stuff. No, it's just a legitimate question. I, that's it what I heard. Never I said it. True or not. I've seen some things that said otherwise, and I can pull up actually some Telegram posts if I have. Okay, to. sure. I'll I'll respond to your bad faith question. So, I no, I think your words. I, I, I it's not a bad faith. All right, question. fine, fine, fine. It's yes, I've said it before on Telegram. Yes. So not not that I want people to dox themselves. That's of course that's of course uh, slander. But what I said is I think that um, instead of discouraging people from participating openly, I think that we should encourage people to um, shift their life into a position where they can become politically engaged like the rest of us are. Because I think as long as we are living in the shadows, I think, can I fucking finish, bro? Come on. <laughs> Fired well, you, well, you know what? Actually, actually, getting fired from my last job is the best thing that's ever happened to me because for the first time in my life, I'm I'm a free man. I'm a free man, and now that I'm now that I'm now that I'm detached from the system, I can actually live my true life. I can actually be who I am. Needs to be a streamer. So everybody needs to be a streamer. Is that what no? You're there's other things you can like. There, there's other. There's more than streaming that you. There's more ways you can contribute politically than be a streamer. And what I think is that every we should be encouraging people instead of saying oh no stay in the shadows forever and then you know never show like what can they do I don't know man there's so many things they can do they can well, they, they could be so political you're activists you're, you're, a, you're, you're a political like what like do what how do you make a living doing that there's ways i mean look, look at all the look at all the right you're, look, you're, little, you're asking people to make a leap of faith and you can't even give them a, an answer or anything like that to, it's it's different for everybody it's, it's different it. for everybody it depends what your skill set is i don't know what people's skill sets are maybe you're a great journalist maybe you're a great photographer maybe you want to go undercover maybe you want to do like there, there's so many look at look at how many people are are you know making a good career out of being politically involved look look on twitter look on youtube oh like, uh, like i mean uh, Andy No and, and Jack Posobiec and all, all these social those media. Hate us. Yeah, those guys hate us. Though. It doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter. The point it that does. I made. It does matter. Because no. like, this is a different position than what they're taking. So like what you're asking people to do is not even remotely close to what you're giving them a solution to. What I'm saying is, I'm not saying, you know, leave your job right now, right this second. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, you know, think about an escape plan and think about how can I reorient my... Why? Because do you want to be enslaved to a system that hates you for the rest of your life? Do you want to continue breathing oxygen? Regardless of whether you want to or not. Well, I, I have to say, I have to say, I have to say, I feel a lot more free now than I did when I was slaving my life away for an anti-white corporation that was using my resources against me. So now I actually feel pretty good about the way that I'm conducting my life. And because I made well, hey, that, because, because I got out of it, that's what I want to share with other people is that they so can do it too. You did. So then everybody should do what you did. I think, I think as men, I think as, I, I think, I'm not, not saying, saying, I'm not saying, no, I'm not. You're, You're putting not words in my mouth because you won't let me complete my thoughts. I'm not saying streaming specifically. I don't know what the, the individual prescription is. I don't know. But what I'm saying is if, I'm not that mad. What I'm saying is if you detach from the system, like as long as you, as long as, as long as you exist within the system, you cannot destroy the system because then you would be destroying yourself. Then that would be suicide. So the best way for well, us, so for example, what, you, do you know what do you know what makes Nick so effective? What makes Nick so effective is the fact that he's not a cog in the machine. That's why he's able to say the things he says wow. and do the things he but does be, because he exists outside of the machine. And that's what I'm saying. We should so all we should what. Uh, so everybody should be Nick then. That, that's what you're saying. We should. I'm, I don't know. Like I said, I, I don't know what the what the individual prescription is. But what I'm saying is, we should all. We're not all Nick. Right, so maybe, maybe if you don't have a solution, you shouldn't suggest that people take a huge leap of faith for absolutely no reason. Like it's so dumb. Everybody just throw yourselves onto the fucking cogs and get churned up. Like that's what you're saying. No, it's not what I'm saying at all. What I'm yeah. saying is if we ever want to be free, then we need to conduct ourselves as, as, as freely as we can. One way we do that is by removing ourselves from a system that hates us. That's all I think. I think you that's a totally freedom. You want to talk about freedom and then you're sitting there trying to dictate what people can fucking listen to. Like what you're describing to people is not freedom. What so are you, so, that, so you're crying now that political collectives have rules and values to, that, that, that they, they have ideals that they're. Uh, attempting to live up to and if somebody wants to enforce uh, those rules and values you cry and values that's what i'm saying i'm saying real life has rules and values and you just don't get it man you just don't get it over those you don't get it you don't you're you're a hedonist you're you nihilistic want every, you want every 
want to be like a you're like you sound like a kid at career day. What do you want to be grow up? Oh, I'm gonna quit my job and be a journalist. I'm gonna be an astronaut. I'm gonna be a right wing astronaut. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, bro. Great job. Another another phenomenal response from the one and only Beardson Beardley. I'm giving you a response. You don't want to hear it. And what's funny about you? People can find their own way. Quit your job first, but then find your own way. Be become Jack Posobiec for Nick Fuentes. Like you sound like a retard. Uh, no, I know. What I'm what I'm offering to people is I'm offering them a way out. You, on the other hand, are offering what, helplessness. What's the, what's the Helpless. So, no, no, I have already explained it to you. What's the path? I've already explained it to you. You must remove you must remove yourself from the anti-white system in order to in order to go after and take down the anti-white system. How do you do that? So how do you do that then? It, so it, it's I it, it's different for everybody. I don't know. People have to Give me one path. Give me just an example. People can, people. Everybody, give me one example. One example. Sure, sure. Become a social media influencer. I think that, I think that's a great thing to do right now. I think, uh, you know, everybody, go, everybody go. Be a social media influencer. You said, give you one. You said, give you one answer. 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 I gave you one. You could be a content creator. You could be a content creator. You could. Well, no. I think they're different. I, I think that they're different, but fine. Even if they're the same, we could use as many content creators. We can use... Yeah, that, that's totally what I'm saying, man. You're, you're just... You're just... You can't keep up with the conversation, man. And you know, you know what this is? All this is from you is a justification for your own lazy, meaningless existence. That's all this is. You're, you're just trying to rationalize your life. You're trying to rationalize your indecision and inability to do anything about the challenge that we face. That's all this is. This is just one massive cope. And now you're fake laughing. Nobody believes what you're doing right now is authentic. All you're doing is rationalizing your inaction. You don't want to do anything about this. You just want to say, oh, you want to throw your hands up, wave the white flag of surrender and say, there's nothing I can do. We're all helpless. We're all just, we're all just, you know, dust in the wind. And I'm just going to continue endlessly consuming. You're, you're the right wing soy jack. That's who you are. You're the, you're the eternal consumer. You're, you're the right wing soy jack. And you just, you just don't have what it takes. Okay. We're. We are looking for a certain cut of character, and you're not it. And that's why I've called you out. That's why I've called you out. That's why I've called. I thought you couldn't hear me, bro. weren't you Weren't you kicking out loud? weren't you wheezing? I'm starting. I'm starting to come down. But yeah, who's we? Who Who's cut him? I not. You don't have what it takes. You are a huckster. You are a fraud. You are a charlatan. I'm calling you out. I've made my case. Famous. I've made my case. I've made my case. And like I said in the beginning, anybody who is listening to the merits of this discussion knows who won because you are holding the indefensible position here. Your position is not the America first position. So it's funny because you say to me, you're not a groiper. Well, what's funny is I'm the one making the groiper argument. You're not. Your argument is I can't do anything. I'm just a, I'm just a helpless retard. Such a stupid idiot. So I'm making the Groyper argument. You're not. You're making you're the eternal, idiot. you're making the Reddit argument. You're Nothing I can do about it. Oh, a, a new Star Wars movie? Guess I have to see it. Oh, 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 a, a new, a new, a new fashion trend? Guess I have to buy the Pit Vipers. Oh, guess I have to listen to the rap music. Oh, nothing I can do about it. I, I have to consume. I don't have a choice. Wait, you're telling me not to consume? But then, but then what am I going to do with my life if I don't consume eternally? What am I going to do with my life if I don't play video games all day long? That's what you're saying to me. So you're pathetic. You're 33 years old, but you act like a child. You act like a child. It's time to grow up, bro. Like you're, you're, you're chasing this childhood high. You're chasing this like, this like childhood dopamine high. Like, oh, oh, I need to play all the video games. I need to play them all. But you didn't. You, you didn't. I'm making the Goyper argument. I'm making the America First argument. Now. You're not. You're a you're a manlet and a man child. You're a man child. Time to grow up, bro. Time to grow up. You're 33 years old, right? Happy belated birthday. 33 years old. Time to grow up. No, I'm I'm done letting you talk because I, I tried it. You don't let me complete my thoughts. So now I'm gonna get my two cents in. Didn't lose. Didn't lose. 33 years old, time to act like it, bro. Time to act like it. Time to act like it. 
you are like really time to act like it mad. can we get back to the debate sure go ahead take it away yeah. did you get it out of your system are you done are you, did you get it 33 years old acts like he's still in diapers get it out of your system and get back to the debate here like go ahead fucking keep sparking out so you you again i that's what you equivalent like like art and culture to is just like consumption and you kind of expose that with everything in moderation that's my position. You're you you're straw manning me. I'm I'm just bored at this you point. So that. make a new point, or or we'll call it a wrap here. Oh, you desperately want to get out of this. No, I'm just you're just boring the shit out of me, and I, I can't even I can't even get a, a a thought in. So what is the purpose of this? I made my position. Everybody knows. Everybody knows what my position is. Everybody knows what your position is. Your positions do nothing. My positions do something. And and people, the Beardson are going to say, Beardson, you did such a great job. Wow, that was awesome. I liked the part where you said do nothing because you're totally helpless and helpless. The sound of your own voice? Or are you that mad that you have to fucking spout I'm, off ad nauseum do stupid bullshit? Like, I tried to have a civil conversation with you, and it's just not It's not going anywhere. For 10 minutes straight. It's not going anywhere. Well, at this point, yes. At this point, yes. And you won't let me get a point in. because you you're just. You have no points to make. I, I've given you how many hours now? You have no points oh, to make. Yeah. Dude, you've been screaming. All you've doing is swing, swing, Jack, consume. That's your point. That's your argument. Is a fucking Reddit meme. Congratulations, man. <laughs> like you are a Reddit meme. Like, you are. You are like like oh, if, okay. I if I didn't if I didn't if nobody told me you were AF, nobody would ever guess this guy is based in Reddit. Like you look exactly like the Soy Jack meme. I'm not saying that to be uh, to be insult. It's true. Like you look like the Soy Jack meme, and, and then if I tuned into your stream, your content is all oh oh, it's all uh, Star Wars and Marvel and video games and never anything serious because you're not a serious person. Because what because I talked about Star Wars or Marvel. You you did it the other day, you're talking about anime. You're talking about cartoons. You're talking about like all of, like this childish bullshit, this inane childish consumer culture bullshit, and then you're gonna tell me oh this guy RPG has no content, bro. Listen, you're you're a nihilist. You're a you're a nihilist. I'm not a nihilist. You are a nihilist, and if you're not, you act like okay. one. Okay, and, and then so what? So what? It's pathetic. What's what, so what? It's pathetic. How can you say you you, know you what's say pathetic is you're not gonna have any fun in your life because I do have fun. Like people, no, you don't. You I don't do have fun. fun. I, yes, I do. No joy in your life at all, man. Yes, there you're is. A joyless individual. False. What do you do for fun? You know, it's what funny because. Fun? I, you're going to, you're going to tell me that I don't have fun in my life. You're going to tell me that I don't have fun in my life. You look like you're on suicide watch when you go live. You look like you're on suicide watch because before you go live, before you go live, you just finished another 10 hour game session. Cause all you do is play video games all day long. Even on your birthday, what did you do? You played video games all day long. Cause that's all you do. You're gonna tell me I don't have fun. Are you having fun playing video games endlessly? Yes. That's fun. Yes. Really? Yes. That 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 gives you a sense of purpose. What do you do for fun? Your gaming addiction gives you a sense of purpose. What do you do for fun. It's I do a, a wide variety of things for fun. What? Like, a wide variety of things, and I. A what? I I I I play the guitar. I like to read. I like to go places. I like to go to the beach. I like to swim. I like. I mean, I, I, I there's things that I do for fun. I mean, uh, that's there... all you had to say. That's all you had to say. So you don't watch movies. You don't um, play video games. I I I canceled my Regal Unlimited because I actually like live out my principles. It's not just rhetoric. I don't just turn on the camera so that the you know the conservative people. <laughs> I, I, I'm a serious person. Like to me, politics is not just fashion. Yeah. To me, politics is something that is deeply meaningful to me because I actually hope to realize real world change one day. You are a nihilist. You don't think it's possible. So you're not going to try. You're just going to have as much fun as you can, as you can before you die, because that is your life philosophy. That's what I learned of you recently right. is the only thing you care about is having the maximum right. amount of fun and doing the least amount of work. This is why you don't work. This is why you don't have a child because a child means work. Work. So you're not gonna have a kid, even though you're 33 years old, because that would be work. That's how you view it. Excuse me. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. If you want to try to bring my family into this, where's your wife at exactly? I currently don't have a wife, but yeah, but no, having so who would fucking marry you? Because you're a fucking boreless chur chore that fucking sits around and spurs about about politics all the time. You're the most unappealing person on the planet. Having Why would anyone want to fucking date or marry you. Um, you are a fucking boring chore. Having a wife. Where's your it, kids? Where's your kids? You want to fucking talk? I about haven't been. Kids? I haven't been married for eight Where's years. I haven't been married for eight years. I'm looking. I'm. I'm looking for the right one. I'm. I. If yeah, I want. If I wanted to. If I wanted to. 
if I, that, I'm not doxing myself. If I wanted to, but I'm, but I'm, 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 I'm your age, dude? no, your no, age? definitely That's not. not. Yes, it is. Yes, it else. is. You got to quit your job, become a social media influencer. If I, if I wanted to, if I wanted no, I to, know I, I, you know, I'm 33 years old. I'm 33. I know you are. Cause old. you're dumb enough to, well, actually you got doxed already. So that's no. why you say it. You, dude, your, your face is like all over the place, but you won't give your fucking age. How old are you? I'm not going to say, you can ask me a thousand times. I'm not going to say it cause I'm not stupid. I'm not going to dox. You, oh so yeah. This guy wants you guys to come out of the shadows, but he won't even say his fucking age on stream. That's how much of a pussy. You want my address too? <laughs> yeah. No, I just want your age, dumbass. I'm not asking for your address. I'm asking for your age. And you want to be a big fucking pussy about it, but you want to tell all these groypers that they, they got to get out of the shadows. You got to quit your job. You got to become a social media influencer. You got to be like Nick Fuentes. But, oh, hey, my age. No, I'm not giving my age, bro. Yeah, you, want, you want my social? What else do you want? Look, you got... You no, I'm just asking your age, you stupid pussy. And and that that that's a that's a pretty that's a pretty strong identifier. For that reason, I'm not gonna give it to you. For that reason, I'm not gonna give it to you. It's a pretty strong identifier. Based on your fucking age, you stupid moron. Uh, well, you've been doxxed. You you've been doxxed, so you should know. You should know that that you know where there's where there's a will, there's a way. It's not the end of the world. Listen, I'm not gonna tell you my age. I'm 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 around in the Guys, ballpark. You show your face. Guys, go out there and go to real life events, but I'm too much of a pussy to even show my you're age. You're not making good face. arguments. Once again, you're making another but like this is this is you're too you're too much. You keep of, saying that I'm a pussy, but I'm not, bro. You, you, Look at you. You're telling Look at you. Everything on the line. You're telling everybody to put everything on the line, but you're too pussy to even say your fucking age. Okay, man. I'm totally ashamed. I'm, I'm oh, you got me. Wow, another another epic blow. Another epic victory. Victory for Beards and Beards and his debate opponent won't dox himself. You're doing a great. Wow, here he goes. Oh no, my age has been revealed. No. Here he goes. Fucking pussy. You're doing Beards and I have to say strong show, better than I expected. Very strong showing tonight. Big fucking pussy. That's what you are. You're. I don't think I am. I don't think I am. All talk. All talk. Really, I'm pretty sure it's been. It's it's more than talk. Die in the fucking system. Everybody go go out and get fucking killed for the system. Cancel all your fucking yeah. That's what I said. Subscriptions. Do everything that he says, but he's too much of a fucking pussy to even say how old he is on stream. That's really cute, actually. There you go. You're, you're doing great tonight, Beards, and keep it up. So, yeah, so as as far pussy. as far as having as far as having a wife, measure, let's, I could find. Let's, let's, let's measure. Let's measure our fucking masculinity right now. Let's me let's measure who's willing to put more on the line right now. Okay. I'm 33 years old. Red Pill Gaming. How old are you? You're doing a great. You're doing a really good job tonight, Beards, and keep it up, big guy. Keep it up, big guy. See. What, what's it? What's interesting about this is you f you feel you feel you feel like you're scoring a major pointer, which is why like you're you're harping on it. That, that's old. I'm 33 years old. RPG. How this old are is, you? How much? This is unreal, man. This is unreal. How much are you willing to put on the line? That's it's it's unreal. Question. But but you, you got you got totally wiped the entire debate. So th this is how you score points is by calling me a pussy because I won't Dude, dox this myself. Whole, this whole debate okay, has man. been you've been saying, well, guys, everything in moderation, just do your best. That's, right. That's yeah. your point. Yeah, that's my point. Yeah, I think it's a good point. I think it's a rational point, reasonable point, and you're I saying I can't do I that. No, I, I, I just legitimately... As far as having a wife goes... Um, like my life, so, yeah, yeah. Well, no. As far as having a wife goes, you're like... My, my life into the equation. So well, you've been married for how many years? You've been married for how many years? I don't want to dox myself. I don't want to Eight to ten years, right? I don't want to dox myself. Eight to ten years, yeah. So you've been married for eight years. You have a total of zero kids at this rate. Um, well, let me ask you this. Wait, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. I know you don't. I know you don't have kids. Let me ask. Let me ask you this. Because you've been doxed. You've been doxed. How do you know? You've been doxed. Let me. So you've been searching. You've been searching on my family on. No, no, but. But no. So let me ask you this. Is that what you've been doing? You've been searching on my docs? Answer this question. Why don't you have a kid? Answer my question. Have you been? Why don't you have a kid? How do you? Why don't you have a kid? How do, how what, do what's know? what's just to share that information with us since you're such an how open do guy you know I don't. why how don't you have a kid how do you know i don't you how definitely do you know, know i don't how how do you know why don't you have a kid are you a mind reader are you a mind reader how do you know i don't why don't you have a kid i just why don't you answer my question hey, can you, you explain to us maybe, maybe you have a good reason what's what's your uh, legitimate excuse for not how having do a child you know i don't how do you know i don't you don't maybe i do and i don't want to talk you about don't stream. you don't how do you know you don't know you don't. Answer the question. How do you know? You don't. You, you seem to have this knowledge about me that I apparently don't have. So I'd love to know how do you know? You don't. How do you know? 
Answer the question, you stupid pussy. You want to come at me and invade my life? My well, family? Okay. You want to answer any questions? Here are the facts. No. Here are the facts. Here are the facts. Here are the facts. What? The how facts you are know? you don't have a child, and your response to that how is, you know? how do you know? But but the, in, in reality, no matter what you say, no matter what you follow up with, the reality is you don't have a child. Those are the facts. So you can do this how do you know thing as much as you want, but the objective reality is Beardson Beardley does not have children despite his eight to ten year marriage. So if you want to take it there and you want to say, oh, well, you're not married. Bro, I could get married in the next 10 minutes if I wanted to. Like, you make it sound like, do you think, do you go have a baby for the white race if you're so concerned about it? But don't, don't you, don't you, don't you think you should like marry the right person? Don't you think you should marry somebody that's like you're, you're willing to reproduce with? Because clearly you haven't done that. Clearly, I don't know what's going on over there. Clearly, you haven't done that. No, no, no. Let me, let me talk here for a second. Because what you're asking me to do is dox my family on a live stream. Oh, okay. Oh, pussy won't dox himself. Oh, pussy. The pussy won't dox himself. Oh, RPG wins. RPG wins. He's not going to dox himself. Oh, it's over. It's over. Oh, oh, he won't dox himself. He won't dox himself. Wow! How do you know? Destroyed! He won't do it, pussy, 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 pussy. Unbelievable, this guy won't dox himself. Wow, what a loser. I win, I win, you lose, because you won't dox yourself. I win, me, the winner, you, the loser. Isn't the same as saying you're- But there's no children to dox is the problem with you. How do you know that? I'd love to know, how do you know? How do you have this forbidden knowledge that I don't know? There, There's no child to dox. How do you know? How do you know? There's no child to dox. And do you know, know it, and I know, know it, and you're you're doing this this is that, little... Is that all this is going to be now? Is that all this is going to be now? Dude, I don't, it's funny that you're trying to come at me saying I, I don't have kids. Oh, you don't. You don't have a wife. Nobody with kids could play as, could like consume as much as you do. That's not possible. How do you know that? How do you, I know. How do you even know they can't I'm consume like, as much as you do. They can't drink as much as you do. How? how do you know all these things about me? Are you in my house? Do you have a fucking webcam in my house? Are you watching me 24 seven? How do you have this knowledge? Are you God? You've been doxxed. So you've been looking, are you saying you're like, you're looking at my docs? Is that no. what you're saying? But your docs is out you're there. Every, everybody things. knows your docs is out there. You don't have kids. So why are you, why are you doing like, no, I'm just, not going to get I, into I, it. Do you want, do you want me to share those yeah. details on stream? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Share share my docs on stream. You I'd rather person. not I'd rather not do that, but like your defense here is that how do you know? I know it because it's out there. Everybody knows it. No, it's not. It's not, dude. Okay. I don't keep my life online. Okay, so you're pretending to have a child. Okay, that that's there you go. That's I'm a strong. Pretending anything. I'm saying how did you know? How do you know these things? I I would love to know. Okay, we can move on now. Oh, you want to move on, you big fucking pussy? I mean, you know, you're, you're pretend, you're pretending to have a kid now, whatever. This is, this is gay. It's just getting, it's just getting ugly and we're, okay. Okay. So I guess the doxers, I guess they missed that a crucial detail about your life. Okay. No problem. So you're looking up, so you're like searching up my docs now. Yeah. 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 Right. After my hours and hours of research, uh, looking into which companies hate us, I also research for the last three and you're talking and you're talking about my docs so i i mean i think it's a logical conclusion to make right that you're like trying to search up my docs and you're trying to dox my family okay anyway so is there any other point about the rap is there is there any is there any other point you want to make about right is there any other point you want to make about that's all you could say bro because intellectually you can't defeat me that's why you're saying you're a pussy 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 that that's your debate that like that's the highlight that's the highlight of your debate you're a pussy 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 you're a pussy. You you asked for my age. You asked for my age. That's a dox, bro. Whether you like it or not, you're at. I'm not comfortable putting my age out there. That is a dox. Right, but you're but you're comfortable trying to share intimate family de my intimate family details. It's not that intimate when it's public knowledge. It's not public knowledge because I don't put my my privacy up online. Well, unfortunately, unfortunately for you, it's not it's not a decision you get to make. Sadly. I wish it was. Oh, yeah, I'm not. I've never doxed you, by the way. I'm not into that. I, I would never do that, even though I think you're an idiot. I would never dox you. You're literally trying to spread my dox on a live stream because you're losing a debate about rap music. It's I'm not pathetic. losing. You're the one who said you don't have a wife like I do. Okay, you have a wife and no children. So what good is that? How many more years is it going to take? So you're comfortable sharing details of my docs to try to win a debate. 
it, everybody knows this about you. Everybody knows this. This is like, no, they don't. yes, no, they do. Like everybody who like who? Like everybody, who? everybody. Trust Who's me. I see what I see what people say about you. Everybody, everybody knows it. Are everybody you knows it. Now? You know, you know what ever you know what everybody knows now. <laughs> is that right? I know what I've seen with my own two eyes, and everybody knows that. So you looked up my docs to try to use it as a as a tool for a fucking debate. You're a no. scumbag, dude. No, you're a scumbag. Didn't yes, do that. You just admitted it. No. You just admitted it. You're no, a actually, scumbag. No, I didn't look up actually. So this what happened? This was a debate about rat music. I, I, this was no. a debate about rat music, and you're sharing. It was, it was, but you, you, you completely, you completely collapsed. So now we're just like doing this. I, see, this I, is I, the I, kind I, of debate that I'm this is the kind of debate silent. that you want to have. You want to do the thing where like we, you know, throw jabs at each other. I, okay, yeah, fine. Like, like, the reason why I know that information about you, the reason why I know that information about you is because after the Louis Thoreau thing, your name was all over the media. That's that's when I came across your docs, as you're calling it. No, it wasn't. My it was. Was, all over the it like, was I because I was. Be no, it was because I was pulling up yeah. articles because I was going to go over it on my stream. I saw. You know what they call me? Beards and Beardly. You no, know your name is out Beardly. there, man. You know it's out there. And I don't know why you're playing dumb right now because. I'm not. It's the legitimate facts. There was no name in any of those articles, dude. You looked me up on purpose. Yeah, I looked you up because I was doing research on my stream because you wanted to talk to Louis yeah, Thoreau because you, you wanted up my docs. You were so no, that was no. Docs. I came I came across yes. it by chance. Yes. No, you. Oh, oh, I accidentally found Beardson's docs. Yeah, it's in the public domain. It's in the lights. It is library. at this point. It basically yeah. is. No, it's not. No. It's okay. Not. Well. Well. Okay. Whatever, bro. I don't. I. I'm a pussy. Go ahead. I don't care. No. 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 You know I don't care. Is, I'm a pussy. Is, okay. Yeah. RPG's yeah. RPG's a fucking fed. That's what it is. RPG's a fucking fed, and he has all this information. That's what it is. This is straight up fucking fed behavior. That's what fucking feds do. Is they look up the docs of other right wingers and try to use it against them. That's what fucking feds do. You fucking pussy. That's you what done? fucking feds do. Okay, yeah, so I'm a, I'm a racist, I'm a wignat, and I'm a fed. No, you're Anything a fucking else? fed. You fucking glow in the dark. You fucking fed. But I'm not, and you don't have children. So the, let, let's get the yeah, truth out there. Let, let's let's be honest with each other. You don't have children either, or a wife, but that's, or anybody that loves you or cares about you because you're a but, sad little FBI agent. Um, that's not true, but what is true is you don't have kids. That's 100% true, because you're fucking looking at my docs, you're fucking searching my information, you happen to come across it in your fucking file on your fucking FBI-issued laptop, you fucking fed. Not true, but you don't have kids. True, true. And it's really funny to me that you, the only way you could even try to conceive to win a fucking debate is by trying to share someone's docs, because you're a fucking fed. You say after asking me for my age about a hundred times. Your age, man. Well, oh, that's a dox. That's a dox. That's because wow. it's already out there because double, you've been the, doxed. The double, standard, the double standard here is fantastic. I, I'm, I'm fucking loving it. It's mwah, chef's kiss. Um. Yeah. No. Okay. So I, I, I think we're done here. Honestly, unless you have anything else yeah, you want to say. Fed. No. Okay. Yeah, you're a fed. You're a huge fucking pussy. Uh, you're not America first. You're not a fucking griper. You're a fucking retard, and uh, you can go fuck yourself, basically. Uh, if anybody actually listens to this guy about anything, just know that you're he's probably gonna search up your fucking docs and spread it online if you ever disagree with them. Okay, well, I, I appreciate you giving me this opportunity. Yeah, sure. I, I can't wait for everybody to watch the replay. Really and thank, really thank you, man. Thank you, man. Happen. You've you've really done wonders for me. I want to personally thank you for that. And well, are you are you gonna leave me alone now? By the way, are you gonna no, stop crying? No, no, you gonna want a round three? No, I'm not. I'm absolutely not gonna leave you alone. Are you kidding me? You know what it is actually. The, the reason why you wanted this rematch is because I I wiped the floor with you the first time, so you're probably gonna want a round three now. But uh, let me just put it out there. Yeah, Look, this is the this is the second time. This is the second time I've I've destroyed this idiot. So can, can we can we leave it at this and then I could go back. I could go back to. Okay, we're done. Goodbye, Beardson. Goodbye. I'm muting you. Goodbye. We're done. Okay, so there we go. End of debate.